about endorsing chattel slavery, anything like that, then what you're going to have to do is come up with a, a definition of chattel slavery that's not so uh, loose and fat that it could apply to anything. When I first started trying to negotiate a debate with Tom Rabbit, his first definition of chattel slavery was simply considering someone else's property. Um, and then he was saying, well, I'm not talking about indentured servants, but even in, under Exodus 21, verse 21, it refers to them as their money or their property, which is an indentured servant. So then he had to change the definition. Uh, then he, then they, he had to revamp the definition again. So my complaint is the, from the atheist side, what they've, what they've been doing on here a lot is saying the Bible is endorsing chattel slavery. But then they're trying to say they're not making any more arguments. Um, but then their definition of chattel slavery is so vague and inconclusive, nobody really knows what they're talking about. Okay, so they, then, then you can't really realistically expect any of them to debate you then. Because uh, they can't debate something that they can't define and they don't understand, you know? They're not educated on the topic. Yeah, that, I mean, that's and that's pretty much what happened with the last debate. Um, it was pretty much the, the topic was, does the Bible endorse chattel slavery? Well, then they just basically moved away from using the word chattel slavery at all and said, let's not use that. And during the whole debate afterwards was trying to say, oh, well, we're not I'm not using the term chattel slavery. So it's just it's always this constant moving of the goalpost and you don't even really know what their stance is because if they take a stance then they're going to have to defend it and here on clubhouse unlike matt dillahunty and aaron raw atheists don't want to defend their position I already well, gave that's, you a a little, I, that's a bit disappointing I, but I then gave, again how can they if they don't I know nothing gave about you the a definition and i'm willing to be you know, i already gave you a definition and i'm willing to do it of course you are, because Tom Rabbit, I think, I'm is not uh, talking live right to now you, on his channel. Ass. I'm not talking to you. I'm talking to Tom about. Rabbit. The reason why you wanted to debate him, because Tom Rabbit went live on his channel. I just noticed it. But anyway, good. I'm subscribed to all of you guys Jason, in case you guys forgot. Jason, Jason, the problem is with your, even if this definition that you gave T, uh, G-Man, that he accepted, if the only thing you're saying here is this is the definition of chattel slavery and the Bible is allowing it, but you're not making any moral objections to it then g-man's correct you're just not really saying anything and that's Look, the biggest issue i've had with this whole approach is it seems like no one here on clubhouse not a single person is willing to do like matt dillahunty and aaron raw and actually try to argue some moral objection to it Look, Matt, if you're going to say, I agree with your terms of chattel slavery, I agree that chattel slavery is endorsed and allowed in the Bible, and that I think that it's moral, that slavery in the Bible is moral, then great. Go ahead and say that during a debate. I think it'll only just show. Well, I think it all what, is moral. Okay, great. That, so you, I've said that so, multiple times. So you think so? Uh, wait a minute. So chattel slavery is the definition I gave. It's allowed and endorsed, and you think it's totally fine. It's moral. If your definition of chattel slavery is just owning someone, what was it? How did you define it? It was just a fast, loose definition. Earlier. It wasn't a how fast did, and loose def. Wait a minute. It wasn't a fast and loose definition. It was a very spe specific definition, one that well, you weren't able to give. You, you gave like two or three, and one of them a had to do No, with I didn't. I gave the one. of the 1600s to the 1800s. No. During the transatlantic no, slave trade. That's yeah, incorrect. That's you gave. I never. No, it's not. God, you're yes, so. You're so. You are so. You are so disingenuous. I'll read it again. Okay, you want me to read, read it out, again? Uh, yeah, read it again. Hold on, let me look, let me, let me find it. Hold on. Um, just give me a second. Is this the part where the, the, the person that you're in contract with is your money? Is that the part? All right, here's the def here's the definition. They don't know. Here's, here's the definition. Chattel slavery is a system which allows people considered legal property to be bought and sold and owned forever. Now, the full, def full thing that I read to you earlier was this. The system which allows people considered legal property to be bought, sold, and owned forever and was le lawful and supported by the United States and the European powers from the 16th to 18th centuries. So that little add-on, yeah. wait a second, yeah. wait a second, that add-on at the end doesn't mean anything with regards to that oh, chattel slavery only refers to something okay. that occurred between the 16th. That, does, that what it means. 
with it's read, not what it read, means. Read it then, because see, when you added that on, that's the implication that this definition is it's referring not. to the trans the transatlantic slave trade as chattel slavery, and that's Look. how I've always. When I was in school and was taught what chattel slavery and stuff, it was always within that context. So now I understand that again, without the without that that little caveat at the end. Uh, chattel slavery is a system which allows people considered legal property to be bought, sold, and owned forever. What's wrong with that? Yeah, well, I don't see what's wrong with it. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So you, you have don't, no okay. problem with enslavement. Well, well, like, so, so Tiffany, you don't think no... there's anything wrong with chattel slavery? I'm asking him, since he's an atheist, what is his moral standard? Tiffany, to even, just, to just, even say something that's wrong I'm, according to the Bible. I'm not talking about that. We're just trying to second, settle everyone. on what the definition because, is. Because what Jason and I was supposed to have a debate on this, and again, just like the last time I debated Tom Rabbit on this. He moved the definition three different times before the debate ever happened. So what I'm trying to figure out is uh, we can't keep moving the definition of chattel slavery over and over and over. And that's why I said, let's use Aristotle to define it. That way, you know, Dr. Josh can't argue against Aristotle. Uh, yeah, we can't. Aristotle's you can't definition ar argue is not sufficient. Aristotle. Anyone... Oh, actually, it's far more sufficient than any of this. Well, it's, 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 it's more sufficient. Wait a minute. He's it's more pages, sufficient than what I just read? Yes. Wait a minute. More sufficient. Wait a minute. Ma, I read you a one sentence okay. definition that I think is very encompassing of chattel slavery. Do you well, not agree is, with it? The, the problem is, I asked you a while ago within that definition, does that mean that these people are being viewed as nothing more than a ox for the field or a plow for the tool shed or what does it mean within that definition aristotle's getting into all of this stuff look we're just trying to come up with a clear succinct concise definition of that definition that you gave is fine that definition the definition that that man gave was fine the problem with him is is that uh he can use whatever definition he wants until we get a bible verse that actually um shows that that's being practiced in the bible it's just hearsay at this point. It's not, and the reason why he's avoiding it, wait a minute, sir, hold on. Let's just say, for example, right now we tap out and we say, oh my God, he has the definition. See, that's what you've been trying to win. You've been trying to win the definition game. No. Great. I'm going to give you the definition game for free. Now go in the Bible and show me it happening. Show me the system <laughs> of that happening in scripture. If you can't do it, then I want you to do me a favor right now, live on Tom Rabbit's channel. That's the only reason you're acting like this right now, is to tell them right now that this has nothing to do with scripture. Please do it. It's not, and also the um, the Christians are the ones who stopped the chattel slavery that were well, that was going because on. Because they so. thought it was immoral. Right? Amen. Well, they because got they that idea. Immoral, right? They got that, yes, because they got that idea from the Bible because God hates slavery. He hates oh, everyone, he hates oh, slavery. Everyone, oh, so, okay. Everyone, God hates slavery. So, hold, 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 You're hold, that G-Man? Yeah. Who thinks chattel Honey, slavery just for is a immoral. Second. So maybe I you wanna, should uh, debate with G-Man. Yeah, exactly. I want to make, make a special advertisement for everyone listening here and everyone streaming on Tom Channel's uh, YouTube. Go to Tom Channel's uh, Tom's and watch Tom and I debate this topic. What you'll see here is me offering an argument that as of yet – no atheist has been able to refute since I made that argument. And I'm inviting everyone to um, watch that debate when you get through listening to this. Go ahead. Okay. So obviously we know that there's different forms of slavery that exist out there. And this man keeps harping on chattel slavery. I gave the man, uh, I gave the man his flowers and said, okay, you did a great job finding a dictionary and giving us a definition. That's great. Congratulations. Now let's get to the point of all of this now, right? But uh, can you give me an example of this happening in history? Now, you can't use the Bible because you ain't going to quote no Bible verses. You already said that. So how about we look at the transatlantic slave trade for a moment? Because I don't agree with the transatlantic slave trade. Everyone out there knows I don't. I know another a system of people who do believe in it and think they're slick, like I'm not going to bring it up. But I'm going to wait first to see, to see how many times you guys back yourself in the corner. Again, sir, please give me an example of this happening in history. And if you're going to use the Bible, chapter and verse, please. Thank you. Wait a minute. You already agreed that you said chattel slavery, as we talked about it and defined it, is are allowed and endorsed in the Bible. You said that. So why do I have to give a verse if you've already con uh, agreed that it's allowed and endorsed in the Bible? Didn't you say that? So you don't have a Bible verse. Hold on. Okay, did, so did you great. say that? 
So well, great. Wait, I want to give people that? an example of chattel look, slavery happening G-Man. in history. It's called the transatlantic slave trade. Wait, G-Man, this, did as you a black that? man living G-Man. in the United States of America, okay. you're not as a black man living. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute, sir. Hold on, because you don't know nothing about this topic, sir. As a oh, black okay. man living in the United a States of America, man. I think my ancestors know really well about this topic. All right. So, and I'm pretty sure yours do too, right? Right. So, what I want you to do is this. Your shoe, you made you made your definition. Congratulations. Okay. When I said that earlier, I said I'm just gonna give it to you. Okay, I can be a jerk, go back on that and say no, it doesn't exist in the Bible and make you show me where it is in the Bible. Okay, you, but I'm not gonna said, do it. You, you because even if your definition was legitimate, you cannot show me one example in the entirety of the old or the new testament. I'm gonna say the old testament too. You can't even show me in the old testament. Where it, where an immoral act that God condoned happened during a person, a, a person be either being a servant or being a slave. And if you can't do that, I don't have a problem with the things that you're saying because then you're talking about the transatlantic slave trade. Me and you're going to agree all day on that. But if you're going to talk about the Bible without talking about the Bible, without quoting any verses, you're going to look silly, like you're looking silly right now. Give so me a Bible man, verse just or yeah, can see like, the, the, he the he feet. Acts like he doesn't know Leviticus just twenty-five. Jim, man, just to be clear, your claim is that there was no chattel slavery. In the in the biblical times, that was not only Bible. not only am I claiming That's his definition claim. doesn't. Wait, hold on a minute. Not only am I claiming his definition is not valid when it comes to the scripture. I'm I'm also claiming that nothing immoral happened in scripture Forget that God stuff. condoned. Now I can show you. Hold on a minute. I can show you Egypt and how they practice an immoral system. I can show you the Babylonians and how they practice an immoral system. But you ain't gonna see. You ain't gonna be able to show anybody where God Himself condones an immoral act. The the, the immoral things that you guys ignorantly believe about okay. this particular topic. And it makes me sick because you guys okay, sound like, wait a minute, hold on a minute. You, you, you guys no, sound like you're cloud chasing. You guys are acting like you care about a topic Matt. that you all clearly know nothing about. You don't have to write a book on it. You don't know about what indigenous servitude is. You don't know, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. You don't understand indigenous servitude. You don't understand chattel slavery. You don't have any examples in the Bible because you are ignorant and you don't know what you're talking about. You're just gonna let this guy run rough shot. tell us what the verse means when it says you can buy foreign slaves from the land around you oh Obviously, finally a bible verse no, 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 now go ahead and read it now go ahead and read it for no, everybody I'm not please read it because we both oh no you don't want to read it now okay i'm sorry Look, all right so this is just you I'm talking a, I'm, I'm about to bring up your history in a minute i'm about to bring up your history in a minute or is go ahead not a verse that says you can buy slaves from the foreign lands around you and you can bequeath them to your children forever is there oh yes the bible does say that now 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 give me the apologetics behind it i don't know the bible says that you're the Christian. You tell no, me. No, 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 no. Wait, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I have no problem with that. Okay. But what's immoral about that? First and foremost. Stop saying but see, you're... immoral. Why do, can't you listen? Because you have been passively, aggressively no, 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 no. been trying to prove that chattel slavery is wrong based on us no, agreeing with the definition. No, no. Well, some of us agree with the definition. No, no. I would no, no. like for you to show me why it's immoral. Stop debating. You can't do that. You can't do that. Debating ghosts. Nobody I'm not debating a ghost. I'm saying that, and I'm not trying to be disrespectful. I am saying that you guys are the most ignorant people I've ever talked to on this particular uh, look, topic. And I'm referring to the atheist. To be, you're not trying to be disrespectful, but let me be disrespectful. I'm not trying to be disrespectful. Yeah, I'm trying to keep it real. You should see how yeah. I am when I am being disrespectful. Yeah. The thing is, is this. The thing, the thing is, is this. You guys try to argue that slavery is immoral when we ask you, for example, you can't give it. She read a Bible verse. She can't go into it. Now let me go into it since you guys clearly nobody, don't know what you're talking about. Hears, there is nothing Actually, wrong with God. Uh, Hold on a minute. This guy's just going to run rough. There is nothing wrong with a moral talk. lawgiver. Is this your first time up. with G-Man, Jason? You can just tune him out. No. He'll never so look, shut up. So look, so look, so look, so look. You, you they want to turn this into a, into a toilet show so they can get views of Tommy Boy. That's what they want to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mute and I'm going to let you continue to show your ignorance to the world. Go ahead. Oh, you're going to mute? Well, that'd be a fucking first right there. Can you actually read? There we go. I figured out how to mute everybody. So I wanted to say something real quick. We need to get back on track one on one conversation here. It's what G Man, I'm going to steal man what G Man's saying. G Man is saying, look, you guys can come at this all day with any kind of arbitrary definition or whatever you want for a chattel slavery and say the Bible, this is allowed in the Bible or whatever. But what he's saying is, this doesn't have any kind of leg power unless you can show where it's immoral. Don't cut, come at it with the aggressiveness of the Matt Dilla hunting.
he's in the Aaron Ross, not this passive aggressive little pretend time stuff. So that's what G Man is wanting y'all to do. And I think he's legitimate in asking that. Okay. Now you can okay. I, my, no go, one go ahead. Saying, no one is claiming, and he keeps repeating that we're arguing that it's immoral, right? Nobody has made that argument. He needs to stop straw manning what people are saying. He said to us, look, there is no chattel slavery in the Bible, right? Show me a verse that is that says it's chattel slavery. So I said, well, this I believe, and I'm not like a Bible expert, obviously G-Man is, that there is a verse that says you can buy and sell these foreign slaves and you Keep can reading. them to your children. Hold on. Now that sounds a lot like chattel slavery. Well, All I this, if you kept I, reading, I, I tippy, tippy, if you stop. kept tippy, reading, stop. you would see please it's stop. not. Okay, let's finish. let, let Haiti finish. finish and then Tippy Will or you guys whoever please can Please stop cutting me off. All, all I asked G Man to do was to explain, using his knowledge of the Bible, why that is not chattel slavery. And what did he do? He went back to the straw man that I was claiming it was immoral. He needs to stop doing that if he's an honest interlocutor. So, G Man, please go ahead and explain why that verse is not chattel slavery. Go ahead. G Man, all she has to do is keep reading, and you'll see why it's not chattel. So, so why, after why you like finish reading, so, so, so ma'am, so ma'am, so ma'am, why don't you keep reading? That's number one. And then number I two, ma'am, uh, if you're not arguing, if you're not arguing that it's immoral, okay? Well, okay. So if you're not arguing that it's immoral, then why did you use it as an example? Because you asked where it showed in the Bible there was chattel slavery. And I said, well, it seems to me that this verse is referring to what we would understand. As can you do me a favor and read the verses and no, read the following verses no, from that, please? you can read it. You're the Christian, sir. If oh, okay. Right. So you're not going to do it then. What are, why are you afraid to read it? I asked you, is there a verse that talks about buying Why are you afraid to read it? Because I, frankly, I can't be bothered to pull it up. Okay. All right. Okay. So, so the reason why, the reason why, the reason why I wanted you to read it OK, because I wanted some type of clarification of what you were talking about. OK, that's number one. Oh, number two, earlier in this, con ma'am, ma'am, you don't want nobody cutting you off, but you have no problem cutting other people off. Stop yeah, being a hypocrite, let, please. Let OK, so and this is the nicest I've been to a woman in a long time. I really appreciate Congrats that. So so look. Oh. Um, <laughs> so anyway, um, if you actually. OK, so so you gave me a clarifying scripture of what you were talking about, right? That still doesn't mean that it's immoral or that there's anything wrong oh with it. You're arguing, God. you're arguing that you're not saying that it's immoral. I understand or that. that but when you make an argument, you have to make you have to give people uh, uh, evidence or clarification of what you're talking about. Number one, I'm going to tell you that that Bible verse there does not endorse or condone anything that is immoral. I said earlier when I was in this room that um that slavery was used for two reasons in Scripture: punishment and and, and I'm sorry, punishment. Or and, and mind you, I'm talking about Israel and their laws and everything. Punishment and restitution. I'm not talking about the other nations, okay? Punishment and restitution. Okay? That is an example of the other nations being punished by God because of their immorality, because of their idolatry, because they were sacrificing babies to the god Molech and these other false gods that, that, that they were doing or whatever. You know what I mean? So there's nothing immoral about it. Okay, you gave me an example of chattel, chattel slavery in the Bible. Now, if you're gonna, if anybody's gonna try to argue, oh my God, the Lord endorsed this. Well, what's so bad about it? What's wrong with it? Nothing. You can't show anything and you can't do it as a as a subjectivist because being a subjectivist only says that you're just expressing your opinion. You have no moral basis to, to judge anything about anything, anything. Anyway, I'll stop there. Right. So once again, I asked you that to me sounds like chattel slavery. Right now. Are you, do you agree with me that it's chattel slavery or do you think it's not chattel slavery? Because you I have no problem it, believing no, it's chattel slavery. Make, excuse. Oh. Oh, so when you said there's no chattel slave in the Bible, you were wrong about that, weren't you? I have no problem with your definition of it being chattel slavery. What right. is thy point? You said there's no chattel slave in the Bible now. Earlier in the room, I gave uh, you the maybe. definition. Earlier, earlier, earlier in the room, earlier in the room, I, I gave that to you because I wanted to see where you were going with it. And it sounds like all you're trying to win is there's chattel slavery in the Bible. Da -da! Okay, what else? That was your claim, he, sir. He fucked the verse out of context. Are you saying there's no chattel slavery in the Bible? You said yes. Why don't you I'm go saying, ahead and uh, read the Bible verses no, okay. that goes past the one that you was reading to right. see whether or not that's true or not? Because you stopped there. You didn't well, keep you reading. I don't know why you're you afraid to keep said, reading. It's, if she well, just reads a little bit before. Can somebody else know. read it, please? Can, can yeah, somebody else? Do you think that's chattel slavery? And you seem to be saying yes, right? Are you saying yes? Can somebody else please read the passages, oh, please? So that we can see. I would love to. Yes, know so far. Yeah, go ahead. Um, and actually, if you start reading just a few verses before and not. 
Well, while Tippy's finding the verse, I just want the room to know that G-Man said there was no chattel slavery in the Bible. I didn't even give him a verse. I just remembered something I'd heard. And he's like, oh, yeah, that's chattel slavery. What's wrong with it? That's his position. So that's fine. He can hold that position if he wants. Whatever Tippy's going to say is irrelevant. And you said that it was endorsed and allowed in the Bible. I mean, it seems like G-Man, all you want to do is talk about the morality of yeah, he just contradicted. Said I was going to start moving people to the audience if y'all didn't stop and shut up. Let me finish what I'm having to say. What I said is, I'm the one that said there's no chattel slavery legislated in the Bible. The chattel slave that's in the Bible is the Egyptians. Thank you. Uh, owning the Hebrews. Now, I don't is know there, what G-Man said. But is there a like reason why I wasn't allowed? Sorry, I'm back. Y'all trying to uh, y'all were trying to uh, um, straw man G-Man now. Now go ahead. Is there a reason why wait, I wasn't allowed wait, to finish just one reading second, scripture? Matt, just one second. We could not hear you, so you should move Jason back up because no one heard you talking. No one heard you talking. We thought you were all. being interrupted. We couldn't hear you. No one. You no one. Can anybody? Okay. Can anyone hear we me? We can now? hear you now. But yeah. Was okay. Silent. So let me reiterate what I was saying then, since literally no one heard me, <laughs> and I thought that y'all were all just bloviating <laughs> over me while I was trying to speak. So what I what I was trying to say is. I'm the one that said there's no chattel slavery legislated in the Mosaic law in the Bible. The chattel slavery that's in the Bible is what God punished the nation of Egypt uh, for doing to the Hebrews. So maybe that will clarify some of the confusion. Go ahead. Oh, I just wanted to say really quickly, J-Man was looking for someone to defend that um, like slavery is objectively immoral. I can do that if you want. Okay, great. Let's hear it. Yeah. Um, so slavery Wait a minute, I'm sorry. Um, what kind of slavery are you talking about, though? You're talking about slavery in the Bible or are you talking about the translation of the slavery? Uh, both. Okay, go ahead. Um, yeah, so um, it's uh, slavery is going to frustrate the human's natural tendency to be free, and freedom is uh, all things considered. Um, oh, sorry. Um, Slavery is other factors aside going to be a good thing, and so therefore um, it's immoral. Just a point of clarification that the term natural is used not in some sort of like, oh, this is nature, but it's so sort of used in a normative sense here. So you believe that if I don't have the freedom of speech, I'm a slave? And that would be immoral? No. No, I'm not saying that. Okay. So what are you um, saying? Well, I'm saying that uh, the freedom I'm talking about here is like the freedom to not work, right? The freedom to, um, or not, or be forced to, I'm saying to be forced to work against your will, um, that's a freedom against sort of bodily autonomy. Even even if somebody's going in jail or a person uh, who, who's being punished, you think that's wrong too? No, I said that, all that, things... that they choose that they don't want to work. No, I said all things considered, right? Now there might be some cases where, like for example, you might think that killing all things considered is immoral, right? But it might be no. Necessary. I don't believe that. No, I don't believe yeah, that. No, wait, you think other factors aside? Killing isn't immoral. It's not. I believe murderous. that murder. I believe that murder is wrong, and not killing. Kill, yeah. there, there are a lot of there are a lot of lawful reasons yeah, why a murder, person might need to be killed. But as far as uh, yeah, murder goes, look, murder is the unlawful take the unlawful uh, taking of someone's life. So murder would be wrong yeah, one hundred percent of the time. Yeah, but that's just going to be a tautology, right? I'm look. Murder falls under the umbrella of killing. So I'm saying no, that other. What you think murder doesn't fall under the umbrella of killing? No, because because it's an unjust. What? It's an un, because it's unjust, whereas killing can unjust be justified. What? Unjust what? No, no, no that's fine. That's yeah. fine. But I'm saying that look, killing is an umbrella term that it encapsulates just killing and unjust killing, i.e., murder. <laughs> so murder falls under the umbrella of killing. Well, murder is unjust, whereas killing is, is can be justified. 
that's fine, but it still falls under the umbrella of killing. Yeah, murder is a type of killing. Yeah, murder is how also you wrong. You murder somebody, you're going to get locked up. But getting back to the how point, though, someone, how, how, how do you say that slavery is immoral? Killing them. Uh, but but wait a minute, Billy. How, how is slavery um how is slavery immoral? You you, you said that you would argue with me about that. So um, how is slavery immoral? The, the way with the arguments that you were using. I told you. I told you. Um, all things considered, um, so if the person um, doesn't want to do something, right, all things considered, um, they shouldn't be forced to do it, right? And in the case of slavery, someone is being forcibly um, made to work. Now, of course, I'm not saying that in all cases, forcing someone to do something is immoral. Obviously, that's not the case. Um, but in the case of slavery, by definition, they're not allowed to do certain things that I think that it's objectively good to do. Show me in the Bible where the Hebrews were forced to work on the Sabbath. But what's the relevance? Of show that? me, show me in the scriptures where the Hebrews, but uh, when when Israel was still a nation at the time before the Babylonians came and took them away, show me where uh, the Israelites uh, forced other Israelites to work on a Sabbath day. What's that Billy, to do with anything? The reason why you don't the reason why you don't understand that is because when um, when you would buy a slave, they would basically be part of your community. Now they are now considered part of of Israel. You would treat them as you would anybody else in, in your land. Oh, that's nice. So and they Billy, would get did, they they would I get the just, Sabbath. And Billy, also, I'm not sure. You, I know you just now came in, but when I opened up this room three hours ago or so, I actually used Aristotle's argument to argue why natural slave and I'm natural not, ruler was a, was a necessity. Yeah, so I know Aristotle be, Aristotle defines but, slavery a bit differently. I'm not attacking yeah, Aristotle. I, I think the biggest issue would be if you're trying to make a case that is objectively wrong and Aristotle writes a detailed argument as to why it's not objectively wrong, yeah, but, how look, would you that's refute an equivocation. Aristotle? Yeah, because that's an equivocation. I'm not referring to Aristotle's concept of slavery. Aristotle well, defines slavery be... very differently to the one I'm talking how, about now. How would you? Well, again, you can't include the Bible in that because you can't show me where a person who was a slave in Israel was forced to work on a Sabbath day. That's why your argument doesn't work when it comes to the Bible. Okay. You're, you're better off arguing against a transatlantic slave trade or something like that. They're forced not the to same work thing. on every other day apart from the Sabbath. What difference does it make? Give me a Bible okay, verse, one... sir, that shows me that they are forced. You said that that, that a person uh, who was forced to work would be considered a slave. So show me in the Bible where it says that a, that off, a slave, slave in the Bible was forced to work on a Sabbath day. So if they get a day what? off, they're not a slave anymore? By your um, definition? They're not, they're not a slave as in chattel slavery any, anyway, because you in Jeremiah... In the Antibetan uh, South did do, work do, on Sunday? Do you, do you want me to actually read why, it, why it's not? Do you want me to justify it or not? Are literally saying a day off means you're not a slave? J Jeremiah 23, verses, verse 13. Woe unto him that buildeth his house, house by unrighteousness, and his chambers by wrong, that useth his neighbor's service without wages, and giveth him not for his work. So you, would, these are people that are paid. What, now you're saying all the slaves were paid? Uh, you would have to pay them. They're supposed to be treated as hired workers, yes. So you, Wait, you, would could, into, they you would go into, you would go into contract with them. They could leave unless they decided to stay. And if they decided to stay, you would pin them to the door because they want to be there. What about the foreign Wait. slaves? The foreigners are Wait. to be treated. I'll, and I'll and I'll hold on. I'll pull that up about how about the foreigners because foreigners are to be treated just like an Israelite. So why were the laws different for Hebrew slaves and foreign slaves? They weren't, and that's what I would like to read for you if you would allow they me. Uh, do you want me to read it? Yes or no? Mm, not really. Okay, so you don't actually want the answer. It says oh, in Exodus. Hold on, Exodus twenty-two, verse twenty-one CP, through twenty-two. I've read these passages for them multiple times. Okay, do not, do not, do not miss. Let me ask you this, Matt Adams, you're the expert. Were, were the laws different for foreign slaves and Hebrew slaves? Can, can I actually read this? Do not mistreat yeah, or oppress a foreigner. Yes. I would like to, but she keeps cutting me off. Do not. Slaves, um, do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner. Remember that you were foreigners in Egypt. Do not <laughs> mistreat any widow or orphan. So what's going on in Egypt? The Jews are slaves. So that's what this is talking about. 
And so just I don't understand. Just you're, you're stay, hold on, Very good, Trippy. Very good. Just stay real. Trippy. Just stay, hold on, everyone. Hold on. Point of moderation. Trippy, no, Point of moderation. Just a quick advertisement if Tom Rabbit is still streaming. These passages you will find me reading in our debate against Tom Rabbit. It's on his channel. Uh, Tippy's bringing up passages that I brought up in the debate. Um, as of yet, since I brought these up, I've not seen an atheist anywhere be able to offer any kind of refutation for these arguments. And uh, I would like to refer to y'all to that, refer to that debate um, for future, for further reference and further information and further education. Thank you. I just want to be clear to be, you're making the claim that there was no difference in the laws for the treatment of Hebrew slaves versus foreign slaves. Is that your claim? Um, my claim is that I'm going to read scripture and let That's scripture yes speak. No. I'm going to yeah. I'm going to read scripture and let no, the just, scripture speak for just, itself. I, I really want to know answer the question first. Can you just how say how about claim? how about I just read what have scripture says? Yes no no yeah, why don't, don't you let her just read the scriptures? What are you so afraid of? Let her read the scripture. Moderator, please, man. My God, let her read. G man, just be quiet, all right? I want an answer. Let, yeah, let Question, Tippy why read. Is she let just Tippy read this. Because she can't think outside the box. Yes. I, I, I actually, I actually did okay. give you an answer. You, you didn't listen. Um, Tippy, do, could you reiterate your answer and then read the scripture? Please? I, uh, so, so no, the the foreigner would be treated just like an Israelite. That's why it says in Exodus 22, verse 21 through 22, and I'll read it again: Do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner. Remember that you were foreigners in Egypt. Do not mistreat any wid widow or orphan. So the context here yeah, is... Tippy, Tippy, just for clarity purposes, Haiti then, after you said that, responded, I'm not talking about a foreigner just living there. I'm talking specifically about a slave. So are you saying that a, a foreign slave um, uh, is, can be or is supposed to be treated exactly like a Hebrew slave? Um, we we would say that they would be hired as a hired they would be um, they would be treated as a hired worker because they are a, fo a foreigner and you would treat them just as you would your brother. So you can't go into it's a, a property. foreign land. You can't go to a slave market in a foreign country and buy a slave and bring them back. Well, what why, don't, why don't you pull up scripture to justify no, what you're saying? What, the scripture you read doesn't address that? slavery at all. You, it, it does. It does because no, it's talking no, about. No, it doesn't mention slavery it, at all. It does because it's talking about the foreigners that were in Egypt. That, that are they, free. That they, the free f foreigners. Not, no, not, he, not foreigners that. that it says, are, do not mistreat or oppress. Okay, so what's going on here? You're not allowed to mistreat or oppress a foreigner. Why? Because remember, you were foreigners in Egypt. What was going on in Egypt is that the Hebrews were slaves. So God is clarifying, don't do this to other people that are foreigners, because you were once these people. Is buying a foreigner in a foreign country and bringing them back to be your chattel slave for life? Why would mistreat you? Hi, hi. Is that mistreating or oppressing them? Well, can you show me where that is in scripture, please, so I can address it? You may buy slaves from the land around you. Okay. And what are you supposed to do with them? He's talking about Leviticus... Um, 44, 25, 44 through 46, and she forgot yeah, to read right before that. And it's not even talking about a foreigner. It says, if any Israelite living near you become poor, that they sell themselves to you as a slave. So who is this talking about? Is it talking about an she's Israelite? Well, she's, no, she's, she's talking about I'm literally a saying there's a difference you may, between Hebrew you may slaves purchase and foreign slaves. slaves from foreigners living among you and foreigners within the nation. And, That's the and what's wrong? passage Haiti's talking and, about. Okay, and what's wrong with that? I didn't say what's wrong with that. You claim there was no difference in the law no, there between absolutely how foreign isn't. slaves and Hebrew slaves are treated. But all you've been able to provide could plausibly be referring to foreign visitors, not slaves in your household. Oh, no, dear. It's specific to Don't slaves. Me. Oh, then why doesn't it say slaves? Why yeah, doesn't it say slaves? That's why Haiti was pressing you for a yes or a no rather than read out the scripture, right? Right, so she wants me to, to give a, a tough seer, but if you literally read what's going on in Egypt and how the Hebrews are slaves, like you have to take the that con, you have yes to take, no question. I, and I already answered, you do not oppress or mistreat the foreigner. That are free. 
It's not, that's no. not addressing slaves. Wrong. It's talking no, about... Read Leviticus 25, 44. Gonna, I did. And I read before that, too. And it's talking before about... Before that, it talks about Israel slaves. That's fine. Why is it talking about Israel slaves? It's, it's talking about Israel slaves because these are not foreigners. What are you supposed to do with a foreigner? You're supposed to treat them just as much as you would treat an Israelite, period. That's why I, I read Exodus 22. Do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner. Tippy, I think what they're trying to get at, there's a passage in Leviticus 25. It says that you, uh, you shall not rule over your Hebrews ruthlessly um, like you, sh you could the other. So... What would you say about that when it's talking about, about ruling over them ruthlessly, implying that, yeah, the Hebrews could rule over certain people ruthlessly, but not the Hebrews? Dad, you make the burger. He didn't hear the request. Do you want him to make your burger? You're hot, Miking. Hey, Sorry. Uh, my yeah, bad. All right. So so basically, I just going to dismiss what she just got finished saying. So here's the problem I got with this, with with with, with some of the arguments I'm listening in, in this room. You guys are saying that chattel slavery exists in the Bible. And then you start arguing the, the moral argument uh, the, the moment we, you know, uh, get off topic a little bit. It's either you want to argue that chattel slavery exists in the Bible or you want to argue the moral issue. Which one is it? Stay consistent. It, it, and it I doesn't... still can't believe these atheists don't like reading. Anyway, go ahead. Yeah, it doesn't matter well, because the, the context here. The context here in Exodus 20 is talking about slavery. That, that's what 22, sorry, Exodus 22, 21 through 22. It is specific to slavery. Well, I've stayed consistent. I've argued that slavery is objectively immoral, and um, I think that's perfectly consistent with atheism. Why? why so? No, by what standard? The moral standard. Sister, I, what, what, moral standard? <laughs> what do you mean? Yeah, what moral standard are you going off of? What do you mean, what moral standard? The moral well, standard. What is your moral standard to even place that judgment? Seriously, like, I can say, so. Wait, so I, can well, I say, don't understand. I, like, I know you don't. The you can't have mind? morals without God. There you go. Bingo. Thank you. Wait, why? Because you would what's need a standard. You would need a standard of excellence, and God would be and that what's standard the of argument that? And what's the argument that? Um, atheists can't have a standard of excellence. Because They're, you don't. You need God. Billy, you're switching. No, I'm asking. You're I'm asking I'm he asking, is switching the argument. Post, guys. I'm asking, yeah, yeah, he's switching the I'm argument. Asking, he's gonna, I'm asking, without a moral yeah, lawgiver, you can't say that something is immoral. That's the thing. Without a moral lawgiver, you can't say that something is right or wrong. It can be just dependent mm -hmm. upon what other people got to say. So that in that right then and there. Again, you don't have a basis for your morality, sir, in order to be able to say the things that you're saying. They're, they're asking how you know it's objective and what that objective standard is, Billy. One second. They're they're asking, well, how do you know there's an objective standard, Billy, and what is the objective standard? And you're just saying it is that it is, and nobody would accept that. I don't even know why you're going down this route, Billy. It is a bad route for him to go down, Jason. It's like going up creek without a paddle. It's a very hard way to swim. Well, I am interested in the argument that you can't have morals without God. Well, no, no, the, we're not moving the goalpost. Billy well, made a claim. That's what they said. That, that's what they Billy said. Made it, Billy first made a claim that he has an objective moral standard. It's compatible with atheism. They're asking them, what is the objective moral standard? How do you identify it? And Billy's just like, it is that it is. Like, there's nothing informative by Billy's statement. Just as a note, this, is, this Haiti and I weren't going down this route. We were trying to confirm, you guys agree what chattel slavery is? You agree that it's endorsed and allowed in the Bible? And that your view is that it's, a, it's moral. Like, I wasn't even talking about my moral perspective because I'm a moral anti-realist. So yeah. if, if Billy wants to talk about his morals and he thinks it's morally objective, then he can do that. But... I don't. It's, I don't a, it's a bit of a red herring. And just, to be honest. just for the and just for the record, everyone, for everyone listening, I uh, there there may be some Christians on stage that may say, "Yeah, uh, the Mosaic Law is legisla legislating chattel slavery." I hold the position the Mosaic Law does not legislate legislate chattel slavery. The only chattel slavery that uh, was going on in the Bible was situations in which maybe the Israelites ended up being drug off to Babylon, they were in Egypt, things like that. 
but it was not being legislated by the Mosaic Law. So what, Matt, what are household slaves? What are household slaves? Yeah. Most probably indentured servants. Yeah, what about their children? Indentured servants. They, they would be- Their children were indentured. Family. So the children were born, in, born as slaves. Yeah, right? they would go free. The children would go free after six years as well. Oh, they, they if they cut the Bible, wait, Exodus, wait, wait. The children were freed as Exodus, a six-year-old. Yeah, in Exodus twenty-one, what? it says, "If the man come, <laughs> the man comes in with, if the man comes in with a wife and children, he goes out with them." So, yeah. if you're yeah. saying the children with, if not, you're but I'm not say, talking asking about, about that. the children, well, what are you Look, talking about? If your parents are slaves, right, and you were born in that household. Do you or do you not become the property of the master? Are you talking about like a foreign slave? Is that what you're saying? Sure. Let's say it's a foreign slave. Yeah. Let's say you go yeah. to Egypt, you go to the you're slave making... market, you buy Bill and Sue, you bring them back. They are your slaves for life. You can bequeath them to your children. And if they have children, their children are your property. Okay. Can we is actually that, read right? the scripture? Can we actually yeah, read so what my, the scripture so says? What I'm, what I'm well, I know what Haiti's asking here because we do have examples in the Bible. Abraham had a bunch of servants. Uh, Eli, um, Eliezer of Damascus was one of Abraham's servants. Yeah, there was lots of, Job talks about servants being born or abeds being born in his household, things like that. So there, what I'm saying is if she's just asking, would it be considered property of the I'm master asking if they in that would be regard? chattel slaves. No. So they're not chattel slaves. So the children born. Correct. To the because the way slaves, I'm defining chattel slave is I'm using Aristotle's standard of chattel oh, slavery. Okay. So in which the chattel slave. Not tools. And, yeah. Actually, the Bible refers yeah, to them as servants. Tools. The Bible refers to yeah, them as servants. Image bearers of God. Yeah. Pe people that, human beings that God created his image. So under my definition of chattel slavery, none of them are chattel slaves. Right. But could they be bought and sold? Um, I'm not real sure. The Bible doesn't really get into that. Oh, doesn't get as far into whether as they can sell like Abraham slaves? and stuff. Yeah, it doesn't really. Well, even if they could be bought and sold, if there's no man stealing going on, it's not chattel slavery. There was no man stealing in the antebellum South after they stopped importing slaves. There was no America. man stealing going on in after, the scriptures. As a matter of after, fact, it went against the Mosaic law, so it can't be chattel slavery. And the Bible never referred to uh, to, to the people of Israel or even the people of the other lands as being anything close to being chattel. Sinners, yes, and, 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 uh, and uh, maybe uh, proselytes or God's chosen people or whatever, but he's never called them chattel or anything like that. So, again, you're, you're grasping at straws. So if you were born on a plantation to two slave parents in the antebellum South, are you not a chattel slave? Because you were Is that, kidnapped. Are we talking about the antebellum South or are we talking about the scripture? We're Which one are we talking about? We're talking about the definition of chattel slavery that you gave. I don't think you know what chattel slavery is, ma'am. And I would appreciate said, if you stopped chasing clout. I would appreciate it if you stopped uh, gaslighting me. I would you like said, for you to stop uh, you chasing said, clout. I don't think you understand what, ch what chattel slavery is. If you want to ask somebody, somebody who has ancestors who's been through it, what it was, sir. you can ask one of us, but that's not chattel slavery, what you're talking you about. You said chattel you got chip on your shoulder. included kidnapping and being taken. That's what you I just I don't have said. a chip on my try shoulder. I know more about this topic than remember. she does, obviously. Try and remember what you just said. You said... It's not chattel slavery. I know what I just said, and, then, and you wasn't even listening. You agree, then? Because the examples that I gave, ma'am, hold on a minute, ma'am. The examples that I gave was examples of me just giving it to you. I, like the moderator in this room, I don't believe that chattel slavery exists in the Bible. I just gave that to you to show you that you can't prove that it's immoral. And then <laughs> right. Jason so tried to argue. Hold on a minute. Then right. Jason tried to argue I that um, that he's not arguing story. morality. So since we're talking about chattel slavery, chattel slavery deals with man stealing. You can't show right. me that in scripture because that goes directly against. Hold on a minute. That goes directly against um, uh, uh, against the Mosaic law. So if right. you can't show me an example of God condoning man stealing, which you will never be able to do. You know, what I mean, then you can't call it chattel slavery. And there's other things that we got to talk about <laughs> regarding it that proves that there's no system of it, because that passage that you read earlier regarding war. That that was uh, what would happen you to the prisoners of war, the people that they chose not to kill. That's not a system of people going out there. Hey, let's go raid this country and take these people and make them work for us for free. That's not the same thing. Matt, can you please keep him on track? He just blow the apes and gish gallops. He said it's not chattel slavery because there was no man, man stealing involved. 
I right. said, by that, no, I'm still talking. By that definition, you're ruling out most of the slaves in the antebellum South because they were not stolen, they were born into it. So okay, so let's talk about the antebellum no, South. Come on, baby, let's go. You talk for three minutes. Do you want to change your definition of child slavery? <laughs> or do you want to say that the slaves born into those plantations were not chattel slaves because they were not stolen? Okay, show me your proof about the ante the, the, what is it, the antebellum South. Go ahead and show me your examples of that, please. Go ahead. Well, I, educate me. Educate me a little bit, ma'am. Ma 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 Remember, you just got finished yelling at me, right? Go ahead and uh, give me some examples about the antebellum South, because hopefully you're not just reading some article. Give me your examples, please. The, tra the actual importation of slaves. From importation. Mm -hmm. on, had on ships was banned. On ships. On ships was outlawed mm -hmm. decades before slavery itself was outlawed. That's my evidence. Now I could Google the exact date for you, but I am telling you, generations of slaves were born, not stolen. Now, do you want to change your definition of chattel slavery? No, I don't want to change my definition. You don't know what chattel slavery is, obviously. Okay, let me ask you this. Let me ask you this. Why do they call it chattel slavery? Let me, I'm really going to see what you know in a minute. Why do they call it chattel slavery? Sir, because of what? On your definition, not mine. Okay, the reason why they call it chattel slavery is because these people were treated like animals. Am I right or am I wrong? Well, what's so the you want to change your definition? Now? What's chattel? Wait a minute. I'm not changing my definition. I, Stay on the point here. They were treated. They were treated like animals, right? Yes or no, ma'am? Do you want to change your definition? Yes or no, ma'am? Do you want to change your definition? Were they sir? treated like animals? Yes no, or you no? Don't get to just avoid yes. my okay. Her chattel answer chattel. is yes. Her answer is yes. The reason why they call it chattel slavery because these people were treated like animals, and I know why you want to avoid it because now we're going back to the Bible no, again. Let's say hypothetically wrong. speaking. Yeah. Gee, hold on a minute. Israel defeats the defeats the Moabites in a war. Well, Israel defeats uh, someone in a war, and then God tells them this. By the way, this is in the scripture. He tells them that you can that, that you can keep the virgins for yourself, or you can go in there and you can, uh, 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 you know, uh, 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 keep some people um, as your property or whatever. Show me how that's the same thing. At, the same thing with your antebellum slavery, because you got to show me how these people are being treated like animals. So you see, just like uh, the lady said earlier, Trippy said that these people, when they came to um to the land of Israel, they were treated like they were israelites or rather they would they, these people came under the jurisdiction of the mosaic law and you ain't got no mosaic laws honey none of them out of the 617 or 13 laws that are out there where you can show me where these where these people that was brought from foreign countries were treated like animals without throwing i'm, I'm sorry without throwing your opinion in this is why it's important to read the scripture and get it in proper context show me your proof you can talk as long as you like but the room is not going to forget you said it's not chattel slavery if there's no man stealing and robbing. Oh, I'm still with that. I didn't change that. I'm still with that. Okay, great. But ma'am, 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 show me how they're treated like chattel. So wait a minute, why don't you just address address what she's saying? Address my point. I did address it. You. And we're just gonna keep going in a vicious circle. Well, I want her to show me how they, they were treated like chattel. Wait, 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 I know you guys need your Google and you gotta go look things up and whatnot, but I would like for somebody to answer that, please. Address, Look, address no, address you're just changing the subject. You. Address what I said. I'm gonna go through it with you again, right? You said, you said that there were no laws that 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 the law prevented them from man stealing. Hold on a minute. You said that the law prevented them from man stealing. Wait a minute, ma'am, 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 ma'am. You said that the law prevented them from man stealing that's what you said right no you said that no 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 when you gave your example you said that um that there were laws of um that that there were laws that was written that said that they that they couldn't um that they was not allowed to steal anyone and make them their personal slaves that is what you said all no, right now what i want you to do is to give me an example in scripture First and foremost, regarding how these foreigners were treated like chattel. And then number two, I want you to be able to show me how your definition is consistent with throughout the other countries of the world, how that's considered chattel slavery. You're cherry picking in order to try to make your argument. Go ahead. Hey, a real okay. quick. Are you going to change your definition of chattel slavery really? to exclude the fact that there has to be man stealing or are you not going to change your definition? Of Haiti, slavery? listen to me, Haiti. I, I would greatly appreciate uh, that we get somebody in this room who knows Matt, something about the topic that can talk about it, ma'am, because you are Matt, ignorant. I want to talk. Did someone contradicting yourself. had to be Gavin, Matt. Did someone kick Billy out of the room? I'm sure I don't have the power to do so. Yeah, I know, no, I know the, it had to have been the mod. I, I mean, I don't, I think. It's either just, you or Gavin. I, Gavin was, is the only other mod. I don't know that Gavin's even been here because he's
probably preparing for his debate. So Gavin's been talking in the chat. He's here. Did Billy say he got kicked? Yeah. Yes, he got removed from the room. Oh, no. Oh, it's Gavin. <laughs> it was totally Gavin. Okay, well, uh, he was saying something about me starting a new room, but I don't really want to do that because I know G-Man said he had to go soon. But I did want to yeah. just say something real quick before you two continue about this. I don't think there's a problem with what Gavin said there because he could still say Exodus 21.16 forbids man-stealing. Um, and therefore, um, <clears throat> even the whole slavery system that was set up in the U.S. would have never been set up if they were they were following what God was telling them to do. So even then, those born later afterwards would have still been born as a result of the violation of God's law. Go ahead. Uh, Mike, uh, no, I'm sorry, backwards. That's what you call yourself. What is the name that everybody's calling you on here? Because I, I really haven't been paying attention Matt to Adams. that. Adams. Okay, Matt, Matt, okay, Matt, 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 listen. The quickest way to destroy that argument about Christians uh, endorsing um, slavery in the Bible, there is a Bible that exists historically called the slavery, the, the slave Bible, where they omit a ton of verses that shows that slavery, um, the way it was practiced in the transatlantic slave trade was wrong. Uh, uh, I, I showed that on the channel I had a long time ago called GTV, and they was, it, it was irate when they saw it. But there is a Bible that that existed that would that, that they messed with, that they took verses out that supported their slavery. So these people clearly wasn't saved. The people that was uh, endorsing that or whatever. So yeah, I can totally stipulate to that. They did. They didn't even let the slaves read. That, and, you know, they didn't teach them. To read yeah, but you can't say Christians did that, though. They wasn't Christians. Well, well oh, OK, well, if you want to do that, you can. Like, I don't care about that. But, uh, but, but also on what G meant. Oh, sorry, Matt. Based on what G-Man just said, I want to refer everybody back to my debate with Tom Rabbit. You can find it on his YouTube channel. Yes. I actually get into what G-Man just said. I talked about the slave Bible. I talked about how they omitted, uh, redacted the whole book of Exodus, passages in Jeremiah that Tippy brought up earlier. They also redacted, took out uh, Galatians and others. In fact, they reduced it down to... I can't remember how many chapters, but virtually over half the Bible was pretty much redacted out because they didn't want the slaves to read it and find out God doesn't like slavery. Now, continue on. Hey, I can absolutely stipulate to that. I agree with you. I even stipulate that Christians were um, crucial in the abolitionist movement. Right? I can stipulate to all of that. Now, maybe G-Man's willing to stipulate that the slave states, many of them, took their slave lords directly from Leviticus. Do you agree? Do you know that? And do you do you agree with that? I know that there's a lot of people out there claiming to be Christians who are not Christians that was so practicing things that was not. Well, wait a minute, ma'am. I'm trying to answer your question. I'm trying to answer your question. That just just because somebody calls themselves a believer doesn't make them a believer. Yes, you could take something out of the Bible and then run with it and look stupid in the end and think that was the Bible teaching and that's not what it's teaching. Okay, there's a lot of people out there doing that. They're called the Roman Catholic Church, and God knows how many other false denominations that are out there. But, uh, but again, uh, just because somebody takes something from the Bible, it doesn't make them Christian. And I don't want to ask you, because uh, you know, because of the topic, what an actual Christian is. But I'm gonna do that the next time somebody in this room sits there and says that Christianity endorsed something, because it sounds like you don't even know what a Christian is. But go ahead. I don't know why you would say that. That's a weird thing to say. Slave owners were Christians, and abolitionists were Christians. Listen to me, ma'am. OK, anyone who endorsed uh, uh, man stealing and the treatment that went on during the transatlantic slave trade, that person isn't safe. I'm telling you that straight up because it violates a ton of scripture. As a matter of fact, Matt uh, mentioned in this previous room that the Ten Commandments says thou shall not steal. And if you're going to other lands and you're stealing and not only are you stealing, you're stealing other people and forcing them into labor. After after uh, it says in Exodus chapter in Exodus chapter 20, where it says thou shalt not steal, you're doing that. Obviously, you're not taking God's word into consideration, not to mention raping their women. You know what I mean? And cutting off their limbs because they looked at you the wrong way. OK, don't even get me started on that. That's not what we Christians believe. And if you believe that again, I know this is live on Tom Rabbit's channel. And I know that uh, it's going to make you look pretty ignorant if that's what you believe. Yeah, right, no so true Scotsman all over the place, dude. The U.S. and... The no true Scotsman fallacy is a ridiculous argument because you have to be a Christian in order to say that somebody uh, uh, is not one. All right? So I've already destroyed that argument a long a time ago. A the U.S. So again, again, the no true Scotsman fallacy works like this. 
I'm a Christian person A. Person B is a Christian, right? Person A says that that person, person B is not a Christian because this person eats food a certain way. You know what I mean? So therefore, this person is not a Christian. In order for that to be true, the other side has to be a Christian. You don't even understand your own no true, your own no true Scotsman fallacy, dude. Come on. I think you're really ignorant on this topic. You're accusing of Christians of not being Christians who would accuse you of not being Christians. Who cares if they don't think I'm a believer? I can let me tell you something about me. I'm not insecure. I have very good self-esteem. And if anybody ever says that I'm not a believer, I will gladly have a one-on-one with them and prove that they probably don't even know their Bibles. So I don't have an issue with that. Look, and I've done it before. It's happened to me a bunch of times. It doesn't bother me the way it bothers other people. You 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 are the prime example of how the ridiculousness of claiming Christians claiming that there's an absolute moral standard, right? (laughs) It is it is you are the epitome of it. Because oh, I am. Argument, I am. Absolutely. Every argument. Give me an example. Give me an example. Yeah, we every can say. We yeah, can say argument. somebody. Let me. I haven't spoken in a while. Let me just say something. There are a ton of people that can claim to be Christian. If they are not um, following Scripture, they are not a Christian. It's the same thing with being a Muslim. If you are not praying five times a day, you are not considered to be a Muslim. If you're not following Muhammad, who is the the perfect standard of conduct, you are not a Muslim. It's really that simple. Yeah, but it's, it's not that simple because there are all kinds of interpretations of Scripture. Your view of Scripture may differ from somebody else's view of Scripture. That, and that's fine. You can, you can interpret it whatever way. You can you say that if it says the sky, if it's, if it's the sky is blue, Bible, and you, you interpret, it you interpret it as the sky, sky is green, I'm going to stick with what Scripture says. Scripture does not no. endorse <laughs> chattel slavery, period. You're, you're, you're Amen, Seth. Wrong. Amen. But here's the thing. So both, both the slave owners... And the anti-slavery movement in the U.S. both could cite, cite scripture, and they would both be justified because the Bible is an incoherent mess. So, you, so what you're saying is you can. True. So what you're saying is you can pluck things out of context, which is exactly what you atheists do, and then build a theology around it. That's what you atheists do, right? You you pluck something out of context, and then you build theology around it, and that's exactly what those people were doing. We can claim the massive Thank you. Thank you for explaining your views. I mean, I, I don't know how somebody in their right mind would would believe in a scripture that says you can go and buy human beings. You could have them for your property. Yeah, but you're I, I taking them. You're that, taking them out of out of I poverty. Guess, I, I feel uh, I guess, that. But, uh, I'm I, sorry, I'm ma'am. Say that again. Tippy, say that again. Tippy. Yeah, because what you're what you're doing is you're it's Tippy, and you're buying them out of poverty instead of making instead of letting them suffer. You're actually taking them out of poverty. Say, Hold on a second. I'm speaking. Praise you're God. taking them out of poverty. You're bringing them into your house, and now you are feeding them, clothing them, and they are helping you around your house. They are like a, a living. Say, they are like living maids, and you are, say, contract, you are in contract. You are in you are in contract with them, which is why they are to be treated as a hired worker. If you read scripture in context. Amen. Trip. Amen. Trip. Amen. 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 I would like to share a quote again, everyone, because what you guys were saying here, um, I think is problematic. Uh, I want to uh, say something right quick. And I brought this up in the debate with Tom Rabbit. I do it in every one of my debates. Um, And it's a quote from Frederick Douglass. He says, I love the pure, peaceful and impartial Christianity of Christ. I therefore hate the corrupt, slave holding, women whipping, cradle plundering, partial and hypocritical Christianity of this land. Indeed, I can see no reason but the most deceitful one for calling the religion of this land Christianity. I look upon it as the climax of all misnomers, the boldest of all frauds, and the grossest of all libels. So what Frederick Douglass is recognizing here is he's using a standard, the standard of Jesus Christ, to recognize these chattel slaveholders in the U.S. who are claiming to be Christians are lying, they're hypocrites. And the problem is atheism, the atheist, you can't say an atheist slaveholder is being a hypocrite because there's nothing that they're doing that would violate their atheist position. But we have a moral standard in Jesus Christ to recognize right and wrong. And Frederick Douglass was able to recognize these people claiming to be Christians who are holding slaves in this land were not what they claimed to be. Now continue.
But Tippy seems to be saying, as long as you're rescuing them from poverty, you can own human beings and have them work for you for free? Is that what uh, you're saying? No, Tippi? it doesn't say that anywhere. And I already read that they're hired workers, so they would be under contract if you had actually paid attention wow. to the scripture I was reading. Wow. So you're claiming now is that all these <laughs> slaves were paid money? Yes, they were. Yes, they were. Oh, where does it say that in the Bible? Okay, you so we already read, read it. it. Yeah, we we actually read it, but I'll read it for you again. Long pause. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, well, I, I had to. I have to pull up the scripture because I don't want to. I don't want to speak at it. Is the scripture going to say uh, they get it's paid? It's uh, Leviticus. Okay, if you actually would shut your mouth for two seconds and listen, it'll tell you. <sighs> Leviticus twenty-five verses thirty-nine through forty. If any of your fellow Israelites become poor and sell themselves to you, do not make them work as slaves. They are to be treated as hired workers or temporary residents among you. That they are to work. For you until the year of jubilee so they are basically released on the year of jubilee yeah what about foreign slaves right. yeah, foreign sl i'm gonna uh, okay so now i'm gonna read again exodus 22 verse 21 through 22 do not mistreat or oppress a foreigner for you were foreigners in egypt do not take advantage of the widow or the fatherless so you would treat completely okay, unrelated can, yeah it go is ahead. not because what's right, going on again and we'll, we'll go through this again because you have to read scripture in context what's going on in egypt with the foreigners that were in egypt the hebrews were the foreigners in egypt and they were being treated as slaves they were not paid so that's why god is saying in exodus 21 not yeah. to mistreat or oppress a foreigner at meaning the fo no, I'm not missing. I'm not because I'm going to continue reading now. Um, for you were foreigners in Egypt. When were they foreigners in Egypt? When they were under slavery. So you are to treat a foreigner so, as you treat yourself. Wait, so it doesn't say to pay them. It just says don't mistreat them. Correct. Okay, we already went, went through the part where it says to to buy people as hired workers. That includes right, the foreigner. Are, those are Israelites, but those are for, these, now It includes the foreigner because of Exodus 22, which comes before Leviticus. You're welcome. Wait a, Wait a minute. So the foreigners are to be paid, and you just read a verse about the foreigners are not supposed to be mistreated or etc. So but I still didn't hear you. You, you obviously like didn't listen to the scripture that I read whatsoever. Well, you where, didn't where, listen where, at all. Where, where in the scripture does it say that foreign slaves are to be paid? Okay, we'll read Exodus 22 again since you're not listening. Yeah, do sure not, the part. Wait a minute, before you do that, do sure not read, mistreat sure or oppress it. a foreigner, for you were foreigners in Egypt. Do you understand what's going on there? That doesn't mean they're paid. It just do you, do you understand what's going on? Okay, why, why does it say they're paid? Why would, hold on. Why are they not mistreated? Were they being paid when they were in Egypt? Or were they slaves? Were they unpaid slaves? Wait, 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 wait a minute, hold on. It's just a bit question. of a stretch because it necessarily says you have to pay your slaves, does it? Anywhere. Can, can, I, can I ask you what's going on in Egypt? Do you know? Yeah, what, what's going on? What, what do you think is going on in Egypt? Are you talking to me? Yeah, what, yes, you purportedly know what's going on in Egypt. What's going in on in Egypt? In Egypt, the Hebrews are slaves. They are not paid for their work. So right. that's so the if context. Buy, if you go and buy a, a so you are not to be, you're, you're not to treat house. a foreigner, you're not to treat a foreigner as you were treated in Egypt, which is not to be not paid. You're supposed to treat them as your paid? own. Were indentured servants paid? Why don't you show me indentured servitude in the Bible, please? Because I think I, this is a real stretch. You, I really mean, you, you, just, you, you just you keep wanting that you keep wanting to jump from topic to topic, okay? No, no, I just don't think any of them were paid, ma'am. Yeah. Okay, saying. well, that's why. Well, Neither and I'll read it again. I'll read it again. It yeah, says doesn't say, doesn't say foreign say slaves are paid. It's talking about well, you're supposed to treat a foreigner as you would treat yourself, as you would treat a fellow Israelite. Yeah, and it doesn't say foreign slaves and are paid. Israelite indentured servants were not we paid use either. We use full context here. Full context they were says. Off their debt, they were not paid. I'm sorry. Who, who, where why do you keep, see that? Why keep muting me, Matt? Where do you see that? I'm not muting anybody. Somebody That's keeps what muting indentured me. servitude is. Where do you see that in scripture? Is what I'm asking. 
The part where they're not paid. Where do you see the part where they're not paid? Can you show me because that book, chapter, and are, verse, please? Because the point is they're exchange in this in this situation, the voluntary contract is such that they are taken in, right? They are no longer starving on the street, and they work for their room and board. That's what, what it was. Okay. Do you agree? That that would be a hired worker you would go into voluntary contract with them, just as we do and are you with paid? with work today. Absolutely. Nowhere does it say they were paid. It doesn't say what the, the a wages hired be. A hired worker Dentist is somebody that gets paid. paid. Indentured servants were not a, paid. A no. hired worker is somebody who gets right. paid. Should we just look at the definition of indentured servitude? We, we should also look up what a hired worker means. Well, I, I'm not sure that I would agree fully with Tippy here. Uh, I, I do think that there's certain situations in the Bible where um, they weren't paid money necessarily, but they were paid in some form or fashion, whether it be the redemption of a foreign slave uh, from these uh, foreign nations. And the way what I look at from Leviticus 25, where you're talking about you may buy your slaves from foreigners around you or foreign nations, uh, and you can bequeath them to your family members. What I actually see going on there, and uh, G-Man alluded to it earlier, uh, when you have Leviticus 18 and 20 giving a list of the common practices and customs that were being done in these other nations around them, such as sacrificing your own children to mullet, bestiality, sex with whomever you wanted. Um, I think what you, we have going on here is actually a redemption where God is offering uh, these people to be redeemed, to be taken out of these situations. And should their master die, and Paul actually brought this up earlier today, should their master die unexpectedly, these foreign slaves are not going to have to worry about falling back into the hands of foreign slave owners. They can rest assured that they can remain in Israel where they're given human rights and not treated in other as words, they're In other words, they're inherited by the master's children. Correct. Yeah. And that way I, they don't have to fear. Um, just like a child, our, like you know, one of the problems, like you know, one of the problems slave. with uh, people arguing about slavery in, in, in 2023 is that they're comparing our society today with the ancient Near East. Israel wasn't the only country practicing some of these things. Uh, as far as on a moral basis, they was the only ones, but there were other countries that was practicing in a moral form of it. And the mistake that I think that uh, Haiti and some of these other people in a room are making is, is that they're comparing our society today with the society that exists that existed back then. They tend to forget that 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 women were treated differently. Uh, if a woman, for example, wasn't a virgin, she would not be desirable to marry. Therefore, she wouldn't be able to take care of herself. She needed her virginity in order to be attractive to another, um, in order to be attracted with somebody who can actually marry her and care for her. You know what I mean? And they're not even considering these things. They're taking our society today and comparing and contrasting that with um with the ancient uh with, with ancient israel and, and that that and that that you can't do that's dumb that's like comparing ancient rome oh, ridiculous. you know that's what i mean ridiculous. that's like comparing oh, ancient oh, rome oh, with the united oh, states oh, of america that's dumb interesting g man you might be used to like youtube idiots who don't know anything about this topic but you're on clubhouse now we spend a lot of time on this we talk to experts uh, we listen hey. to all the arguments and uh, you seem to think that we're just saying Boo, I don't like slavery. Slavery um, wrong. I'm 80? looking at 22. Hey, I'm still talking. You talk for minutes at a time, right? Uh, I no, I don't, but go ahead. You do. Oh, yes, you do, sir. You go on. No, no I don't. We got to say what you got to say. Because you said I talk to idiots? Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Yeah, you're not used to people who know. I'm, I know Matt Dillahunty's an idiot, yeah. and I'm glad that you finally acknowledge that, though. I agree. So Matt Dillahunty's an idiot. Aaron Raw's an idiot. Thunderfoot's an idiot. And I can name the other popular ones that you guys bow down and worship to that that, that you consider idiots. Oh. And this is live on YouTube for you to say all oh, of that. So go ahead. Stop interrupting. Nobody here said anything about Matt Dillahunty being a brilliant debater or knowledgeable on the topic. Not one person said one thing. I think Matt Dillahunty is <laughs> an idiot. Are you happy? I now? love it. You I love it. And I got a recording. Stop interrupting. Get to know Clubhouse atheists because they're of a much higher caliber than the idiots you talk to, sir.
little bit slippery because on the one hand they want to say what's wrong with chattel slavery on the other hand they want to say oh there was no chattel slavery in the bible but whenever we actually get down to whether there was chattel slavery or not there's a lot of tap dancing like tippy ridiculously saying they got paid things like that they right? did that's get paid ma'am you need to go doing. read your bible and do what it says oh, they did the get paid paid go ahead oh my god lord father you know, god lord jesus says, let me ask you something what happened after yeah, the, what the happens verse? after the six year or the year of jubilee where's let me ask you something Haiti. Haiti. I, I don't have a foreign Bible slaves Bible. nothing so, for foreign slaves nothing there is no year of jubilee. Slaves, so okay so foreign have, slaves so, wait a minute hold on a minute hold on a minute let's let, let's deal with the hebrews first you're telling me that no, the hebrews didn't get over Haiti, oh Haiti. aren't you doing exactly what you told me that i do you're interrupting me so check this out Haiti. When let's stick with the Hebrews and then we get to the foreign ones. The Hebrews was a roof provided over their head, yes or no? Not interested in the Hebrews because that's okay. not my claim. Oh, wait, wait, wait a minute, ma'am, 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 ma'am. You don't want me interrupting you. You said I'm talking for minutes. I'm asking you a question. You can't even answer it. Here's my answer. The Hebrews. Okay, so so ladies and gentlemen, according to this uneducated lady over here. Getting a roof over your head, getting clothes on your back, and getting food to eat is not payment, according to this according to this Haiti lady. Let's talk about yeah, the foreigners. Did they get a roof over their head? Yes or no? Well, they got a tent over their head. Did they? Okay, I'll tell you what. They had a roof over their head or a tent. It don't make a difference. Were they provided for? Yes or no? Yes, they were. But I'll take it a step further. If the Israelites married them, this is the part where you're going to look really stupid. If the Israelites married them, or well, even if they wasn't married, were, were they under the Mosaic law? Yes or no? I think it depends if it's a man marrying a woman or a woman marrying a man. No, no, no. See, that's the problem with you, Haiti. You keep saying you think and you think you think. I am not taking you seriously for the rest of this conversation until you either show me that you know what the Bible claims, what the Bible says, or it doesn't. Because you <sighs> keep generalizing and generalizing. And then when Trippy wants to actually read something in scripture and be very specific about what we're talking about, you're like, yeah. oh, 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 oh. Trippy. Stop Listen, doing that. Come on. It's tippy, entertaining, G Man. It's, it's very entertaining. I'm sure you do very well on YouTube, but it's not going to work here. No, no, I'm I'm just keeping it real, Haiti. I'm just saying that you no, sound you extremely ignorant when it comes to the scriptures. You just got finished saying that they wasn't paid. You told me to give you to give you an example of how they were, and you didn't want to hear. I didn't even get to the sixth year or the year or seventh year or the year of jubilee. I haven't even gotten to that. Yeah, so I haven't even gotten to the law. I haven't. Even, you know what? When you talk to the Hebrew Israelites one day, Haiti, they're going to eat you so, alive so because they understand those laws a lot better oh, than you. You don't know what you're listen, talking about, listen. man. When we are talking about chattel slavery, we are not talking about the Hebrew slaves who were treated more like servants, who were set free after a number of years, who were even given some money to go off and start the new life, right? That might have been quite a good situation for an Israelite. We are saying there was still chattel slavery in the Bible, and one of the situations was the foreign slaves. Here's another Prisoners one. of war yeah, are not considered yeah. chattel slavery, ma'am. Go Why back not? to school. Why not? Why not? Prisoners Why not? of war were Why not considered not? chattel You're slavery, ma'am. Go back to school. No, it isn't my ignorance. You don't know the Bible. Neither one of you do. Explain why that's the case. Explain that why that's the case. Okay, so. First and foremost, Israel was under the Mosaic law, right? Israel was God's chosen people, right? Obviously, the other nations were not. The other nations were considered heathens. They, they worshiped and served false gods. Because they did that, God's punishment came upon these lands where God was going to take their lands and give them over to the land of Israel, all right? Everything that was in it and whatnot, right? So when Israel went and took over a land, Okay, and God said that you're supposed to go in there and do this. And let's say they they, they were to marry somebody in that land or they were to um, uh, uh, capture them and it was to serve them. They're immediately under the Mosaic law and they have to follow these laws, the laws that you are extremely ignorant about. Oh my God. Number you're one, you don't work on the Sabbath. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. You just you can't You can't abuse your slaves. There's a Wait lot of the stuff that's written in scripture that I told Mr. Dillahunty and I told other people, including Dr. Josh, who agreed with me on this topic. Um, um, where it said that that these foreigners had to be treated a certain way. Just because you say, oh, chattel slavery existed in the Bible Money. does not mean what you see going on in these other countries was going on in the land of Israel. And that's why I keep saying you're ignorant. That's why you didn't want to quote no so, scripture earlier. That's why you tried to hide behind the so chattel you didn't slavery. Actually, you didn't want to deal with the topic. Church should be absolutely destroyed you. Yeah, the you didn't actually respond. The countries treated their chattel slaves worse than they treated them in Israel does not mean they were not chattel slaves. 
Ma'am, you don't know what a chattel slave is, and I'd appreciate it if you stop talking about the topic. And honestly, that's why our society is the way it is today, where where, where certain people are being criticized for how they treat other people because you guys are extremely ignorant on the topic. All you can do is just talk. What's your definition of chattel slavery? Tell me where you got it from. Yeah, really, really ignorant on this. What's the definition? Jason is the one who gave up. Jason basically defined the transatlantic slavery. Jason, you Jason know, defined, no, wait a minute, hold on, on a minute. Jason, Jason, Jason defined the transatlantic slave trade, and he wants to try to put that on the Bible using a passive agree? aggressive, using a passive aggressive strategy okay. to try to argue that the slavery that was, con that was condoned in scripture, and that's important, the slavery that was condoned in scripture by God is immoral. If we're talking about Egypt, that has nothing to do with God and his commandments. If we're talking about oh, what was going okay, on in the land turn. of Israel, if we're talking about what's going on in the land of Israel, which you are extremely ignorant about, about why these laws were made, who they protected, and how it provided for the poor, and how it provided for people who, who, who have been repented um, from other countries. Huh? You're rambling. I'm not rambling. You don't know what you're well, talking about. Well, you you're just saying, and, 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 um, and, and Matt brought this up earlier, shadow slavery exists in the Bible. Why don't you let me the guess end. what I said? Okay, you're done? Okay. Go ahead. I, I, gave a, I gave a definition of chattel slavery, and you agreed with it, correct? For the sake of doing it, yes. Oh, for, so do you make sure you make sure you you make sure you you mention that though. Talking, uh, I gave a definition of chattel slavery. Do you agree with it or did you not agree with it? For the sake of the conversation that we were no. having, I agreed with. Sir, do you, do you want me to answer your question or what? Okay, you're, you're, I agreed to your question. definition to show you that 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 the slavery that existed in the Bible was not immoral. What part of that are you not understanding? Okay. So, do you, but don't you just said it had nothing to do with morality. Qualify, don't qualify it. Do you agree with it? So you don't. Agree no, with I don't it. agree with your definition. Okay. So I don't agree with anything the, that I'm you're saying. I believe I'm that you're insanely the, ignorant I'm on the topic. The, look, I'm going to give the definition again, and then you tell me what your definition is. Okay. My definition is chattel slavery is a, a system where people are uh, considered property, can be bought, owned, and traded forever. So what's your definition? That's not chattel slavery. That's that's just plain okay. old slavery. What's and, your and definition? Chattel slavery is what we saw during the transatlantic slave trades when you own people and you treat them. Sir, do you want me to answer the question and define the word or what? I'm not talking. My God, I'm in the middle of defining it and you're telling me to be quiet. I didn't tell so you. So let's try this again. Dude, are you you're First of all, an example. An example of the trans uh, an example of chattel slavery is what we see during the transatlantic slave trade, where human beings were being treated like 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 animals, like cattle. OK, mm -hmm. we don't see that in scripture. We okay. see them being treated like humans. My definition for chattel slavery and your definition of chattel slavery is two different things. The only reason I, 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 I agreed to your definition was to show you that that you ain't going to find nothing in the Bible that that's considered slavery that God condones as being immoral. And we both okay. know that. OK, you just said that when I asked you what your for a definition of chattel slavery, you gave an example. You talked about the transatlantic slave trade. I'm not looking right. for an example. I'm looking for right. a definition. Now, when you I gave you a definition, that, wait a second, I when you a definition, that, wait a minute, you can't say that chattel slavery is the transatlantic slave trade. That's not a definition, dumbass. Sir, just, I gave you a definition. So okay. I'm going to say it real slow so, like this time so, so, so that you can get it. OK, like it. So wait a minute, chattel so slavery is like when you own human beings as oh, property like said, and you treat said. them like they are chattel. Do okay, you okay. understand the okay. words coming out my mouth? Okay, why are you using the word chattel in your definition for chattel slavery? That's not appropriate. So when you do- Well, you according to who? Wait a minute, wait a minute, according to who? According to who? So, so if I ask According you, to who? Webster? Yeah, wait are we talking? Are, are we going by Webster? Common, wait a minute. Common understanding is if you have a, somebody says, "What's the definition of chattel slavery?" and you go, "The definition of chattel slavery is chattel that are slaves." Do you think that that's a? Definition? That's not what I said. So I'm gonna say it again, slow like this use, time again. You, you know what? I'll dumb it down so that even the pre-K kids ass. can understand this. Okay? Human beings being treated like animals. Okay. Do, okay. Let me say this again. Human beings being treated like animals. Let me say. Let me say this again. Human beings being treated like animals. Let me say this again. Human beings being treated like animals. I know repetition works with people who are like with autism or whatever. I'm hoping it's going to work with you. So quote me correctly, sir. Okay. I know what I said. Your definition okay. is off. My definition is more uh, historically it? accurate and you don't know what you're talking about. Come on. Okay.
Last time I checked, the term chattel refers to goods and property, not being treated like an animal. You are inferring that because the term chattel slavery refers to goods such as livestock or money or property, that it's referring to treating them like the animal. It refers to goods and property. That's what the term chattel means. Chattel slavery refers to... You also to said, you also people, said, you're sir. You're interrupting me, sir. Wait, 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 wait. Me. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead. Go ahead. The, the term yeah. chattel slavery refers to property. That was my definition. So are you agreeing with my definition? No, I don't agree with your definition. And property? number two, sir, number okay. two, sir, number two, sir, you're so obsessed with trying to put your belief systems on my Bible. I think it's hilarious, okay? The bottom line is, is that human beings are being treated like they were animals. If you disagree with that, then we need to get into the details about whatever country you want to use, who was owned, and how they were treated. You don't want to do that because that would involve you actually reading Bible verses and you don't want to do that because then Trippy's going to start reading more scripture to you and showing you why you're wrong. OK, so again, sir, OK, anybody who's being treated like an animal or being treated like they're like some some livestock or whatever, that is what chattel slavery is in of okay. itself. OK, well, now here's the thing. You're saying that exists in the Bible. I want you to take a look at those scriptures that Trippy was looking at earlier, with that, that she was reading earlier about how these people are going to be treated and show me how that how that fits. You can't do that. You want to know why? You're not interested in doing that. Like you said earlier, all you want to do is say chattel slavery exists in the Bible. That ain't going to work here, dude. Like, honestly, you haven't even read the Bible and everybody on here can tell that you haven't even read it. Go ahead. OK, well, first of all, her name is Tippy, not Trippy. Just in case you didn't catch my that. my and, phone and, says yeah. T I P P I E. Yeah, that's Tippy. That's Tippy. Okay, so I so I, I, yeah. so I misrepresent. So, so I mispronounce it. Okay, yeah. show me chattel slavery in the Bible, sir. Show me chattel slavery in the Bible, sir. Second, oh, wait a second. So secondly, when you talk about chattel slavery, what you're inferring, and there may be a connection, but it's somewhat of an inappropriate inference, is that because. Pro animals are considered property that when somebody says chattel slavery they refer they're referring to slaves that can be treated like animals but in reality the term chattel means property so it means that people that are that are property you could have a slave that is considered chattel slavery that is your property and you could be treating them amazingly well they still would be considered chattel slavery. Let me ask you a so question, sir. Let, let me ask you a animals. question, sir. Obviously, that word never appears in the Bible. You sound like a moron. If you talk to a black man on the street about slavery and you told them that you was against chattel slavery and a black man heard what you were saying, what do you think is going through their head, yeah, Mr. Know-it-all? Why what do you think pivoting? it's going through the head? Yeah, why are you pivoting? No, no, no. The reason why you don't want to talk I, I about it, Mr. Cloud Chaser, because dude, this is how all of triggered. us look at it. Dude, That's the problem. And it irritates me to listen oh to somebody God. like you pretend you care about listen this topic. To you People are, you don't want to be treated like animals. We know that chattel slavery. Oh we know that chattel slavery. We know that chattel slavery. We know that chattel slavery is treating another human being as being an animal or something is lower than an animal. That's why even today, Today, even today, there are certain racist people out there that will go out there and say, oh, these are just animals anyway. Cut the baloney, sir. Cut the baloney. Dude, you don't know what you're dude, talking about. Dude, so if you're, you're going to so talk about this topic, sir. No, 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 no. Wait a minute. Yeah, you you want to talk about this topic, sir. Keep it real. You know full well that's what chattel slavery is. And in the Bible, no, the I Hebrew don't. or the Hebrew. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. The Hebrews and the foreigners, the Hebrews and the foreigners were treated like humans. You don't know what you're talking about, and I would greatly appreciate yeah. that you take that bass out of your voice when we're talking oh, about a topic okay. you know nothing about, oh, sir. Like honestly, boy. come on. Boy, see, this is like honestly, it makes me angry. Listen to the people this like you try to come on here and act like you care about this defeated. topic, like you know what the word shadow means, this and you know what they are talking is, about when you yourself are being dishonest you, right dude. now at this very point about how these people were treated. Cut the baloney, sir. Cut it. This this is how I know you know you're defeated. Uh, you yourself know I'm that not you're defeated. I admit I got a little defeated. emotional about it, yeah, but that's because getting, I'm talking to a raging to a raging person who doesn't know up. what he's talking about, sir. Child slavery don't up. exist you, in the Bible. You, know you probably wrong. don't even know what the first verse in the Bible is. You probably don't even know what the book what, what Genesis <laughs> was all about. You probably this never even great. read the Mosaic Law before. You don't know what you're talking about, sir. You yeah, just don't. Listen, listen to you, man. You can't even have a No, I am listening to me. I'm listening to a person. I'm listening to a person. I'm listening to a person that can't even be honest about how slaves were treated. Okay? But you don't want to talk about that, though. Because you know that every time I've talked about this term of chattel slavery, that you're actually wrong. You know that the term No, I'm not, sir. No, I'm not, sir. No, I'm not. 
Go, and the reason go, why go, I know go, I'm not wrong, and I think Matt already mentioned it already, because you're playing stupid now. Means. Matt already mentioned it, sir, when he said that, that okay, f first he, he, he mentioned yeah. that, that, that he's against chattel slavery. The only reason I came in this room and agreed with your wacky definition was to prove to you that it was not immoral. Oh, so Rewind the tape and go look at it. Then number two, definition. number two, every time I try to go into detail on why I don't believe chattel slavery exists in the Bible or, or whether or not it's moral or immoral, you or Haiti is trying to create confusion in the room. The bottom line is at the end of the day, sir, you are the one that 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 he's trying to say that chattel slavery exists in the Bible. We know that chattel slaves were treated like animals, and you cannot show me that in scripture. It does not exist. And the reason why you don't want to um uh fess up to that because you're you know just the moment you say, Oh no, the Hebrews are treated like animals, we're gonna show you the law where it says that they were not to be treated that you're way. Just, so you don't know just, what you're talking about, sir. You're just you're you know just what you're talking about. You're just equivocating on the term child. You don't even know what it means to equivocate. Equivocating means I, Equivocating means to use words to confuse people. So stop it, sir. You don't even know what these words mean. Stop Jesus, doing this. You, you don't know what you're talking about. Would you like me to read? Yes, I do. Hold on. Yes, Jesus, I do. Would you, like, would you like me to read? I know more. I know more about you like your so-called atheism than you than you actually do, sir. Right, I even yeah, know so its origin. Like, so stop it, okay? Like stop me, it. Would you like me to read the definition of chattel slavery from the uh, freedom.org? The, the Go ahead and read your definition from freedom.org. No, 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 Go ahead. Fine. This is not mine, right? This is from freedomcenter.org, right? Go ahead and read it. Ch chattel slavery is the most common form of slavery known in America. This system, which allowed people considered legal property to be bought, sold, and owned forever, and was lawful and supported by the United States and European powers from the 18th, 16th to 18th centuries. That's it, right? Nothing about how they were treated. They were just property. That is chattel slavery. Is what what year was that power. definition given? What year was that definition given? It was, it's a modern definition from... Okay, it's a modern definition. Let me give you an example of another modern definition. Hold on a minute, hold on a minute. Let me give you an example of another modern definition Then I'm going to I'm I'm land my plane. A modern so definition for atheism... Wait, wait a minute, hold on a minute, let me finish. A modern definition for atheism is the is the lack of belief in a God or a God. That is something that Dylan Hunty... Sir, I am not. I'm about to give an example. Why are you so scared? Let's listen. Maybe you'll learn something you're, today. You're wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. If you want, I won't even use atheism. Let's use dope. Let's use dope. Okay. Let's what is dope to today, sir? Let's go back to wait, 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 wait a minute, sir. Sir, which is sir, sir, sir. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let's use the word dope. Okay. If I said um, that I'm smoking dope, what does that mean? That means I'm smoking some type of uh, uh, illegal drug and whatnot. Right. But if I say that that thing was dope, what did that mean back in the 80s? Tell me. Yeah. Basically, so my point is, is that these slavery, definitions, hold on a minute, hold on a minute, hold on a minute. We both know that these definitions change from decade to decade or from century to century, and these words are used differently. Okay, so you give me that modern definition does not fit the definition, um, I'm sorry, does not uh, uh, fit chattel slavery throughout history. A more consistent definition for a chattel slavery would be a human being being treated like an animal would be owned as property. You don't know what you're talking about, sir. Please, please provide me a scholarly reference for that because you just made it up. Okay, I'll tell you what. The transatlantic slave trade, how were those people treated? Please provide a scholarly reference. How were, were they treated? How were they treated? A definition. How were definition. they treated? You gave me a definition of a word which you just completely made up and you have no reference. How were it. they treated, sir? That's all I want to know. I why don't, Why are you so afraid to tell me why how they were treated? You're trying to use, you're trying to use examples in, in a definition of a word. You got called. Out I'm not trying to use examples of a word. You know why it's important because you know the moment you say, "Well, G man, you got a point." No, I'm going to say, "Let's look at the Israelites. Let's look at how they treated the foreigners that lived in other lands in which they made them, in which some of them became their property, and let's look at how they were treated." And then you know I'm going to say that, that 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 the definition that you're using is wrong. Okay. That is why you're ducking and dodging the whole thing. Come on now. Can you, can you be quiet for 30 seconds? Let me explain the trick you're trying to do here. You're trying to take an event which we know was horrible, but well documented, right? And which, which humans were treated horribly. And then you're trying to compare it to the Bible, which, is, which has very little historical reference, right? So you can, you can impose upon the Bible the most uh, gracious interpretation of how they were treated, right? But we really don't know how they were treated. They were probably treated very horribly. Maybe not quite as bad as they were in the South, but does that render it good? No, it does not render good. This is wow. You're pretty smart. This is the, this is the you're law. Pretty smart. This you're actually refuting. You're, you're actually refuting the, the common atheist argument that they use about the transatlantic slave trade. I was using your own argument against you. The reason why you can't use that now is because you know that we're smart enough to make you point that out in scripture, and you know you're not going to be able to do it. Thank you for that. I appreciate that, that, it, and I got you, this recorded. No, Thank you. You have no. You have no historical basis for claiming they were treated well, right? 
They were bought. Uh, all I'm saying is, is that what you're using as the definition for chattel slavery and what we see in scripture are two entirely different things. Your definition of chattel slavery, which you just completely there made up. Ton, there is a ton of evidence that shows uh, chattel slavery in the biblical era was not a thing. And it wasn't endorsed by the Bible. Or by Amen. God. Amen. It's in the goddamn book of the laws. Not endorsed by the Bible. Wow, that it. guy got a mouth on him. Get over Ooh. it. <laughs> well, I mean, Get over it, book. I guess. It's in your, it's in your ridiculous book. Get property. over it, I guess. bought and sold his property. Get and that's over property it. Slavery. Get over Wait it. Wait a minute. Get Wait a minute. Lot. He said it's in our ridiculous book. I, I said I wasn't going to do this, but now I'm going to do it. Uh, sir, have you ever heard of something called state atheism? What is, sorry, what is it? State atheism. Do you know how the peasants were treated in communist Russia? Yes or no? Oh, you're tra you're changing topics again. I'm not changing topics. I'm commenting on that comment where he said that, oh, in, in your ridiculous book. Okay, fine. Let's talk about state atheism. How does atheism treat their people? Should we use Mao? Should we use um, uh, Stalin? Or the other hundred million, the other dictators that were atheists that killed over a hundred million people with their own people. Seriously, gonna try this? You're you're completely moronic, right? Neither I'm not moronic. I'm just saying, though, stop talking about the Bible like that when we know your history. Stop it, dude. Come on. You're talking about you're talking about people that were worshipped as de as human deities, essentially, right? So both. Yep. Yeah, and atheism and atheism was his philosophy. Everybody knows this. What's your I don't point? Hear comments like. I don't want to hear comments like it's in your stupid book. If our book, if our Bible was so stupid, why is there no atheist here in this room that can debate a Christian in a formal moderated debate? Answer me that. I did that. I debated you twice in formal debates. So shut the hell up. <laughs> no, 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 no. Atheist can prove that there's no God, sir. And if I were you, I would get off that back one. Slavery. Can you, can you provide a reference for that? I'm sorry. Say that again. Your definition of chattel slavery. Can you provide a reference for that? That is. That is. I use. I use the transatlantic or... slave trade. I use the transatlantic example, slave trade. Example, I, I. I gave a definition. Okay. So let me get the definition first again. The definition is that human beings being treated. Um, human beings that are bought, sold, and owned that were being treated like animals. They were mistreated during the trans. And, and obviously, my example with the transatlantic slave trade. Yeah, I believe that the modern the um, that, that the you, modern I'm definition. Asking. Hold on a minute. Hold on a minute. That the modern definition is not applicable to the Bible. And the number two, it is not consistent with history. Okay, two things about that. Number one, we've been discussing chattel slavery. No one said in the last, you know, hour, whatever we've been doing this. I've been online that we're using. We're not using the modern. We're using the old definition of chattel slavery, right? So uh, we're all talking about the modern definition of chattel slavery. We're not talking about archaic versions. And if you have an alternate archaic version, please provide a reference for it. You said that you're using old definition, but when I asked him what year the definition, he said it was a modern definition. What are you talking about? Wait, wait a minute. We're using what are you talking about? The guy said he was using a modern definition. You must have just came in here or something. What are you talking about? Guys, I, I've I'm been saying here for if, you, if you have an alternate definition you think is valid right. at some date, the previous date, please provide so it. So anyway, John, well, go ahead, John. Yeah, these, these I've, been here, I've been here for two hours. And you guys are discussing the semantics of chattel slavery. Who cares if if uh, what the word chattel slavery means? Let's assume that the Bible uh, uh, approves of, endorses, condones chattel slavery. So what? So what? 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 Why are you so arguing so much of whether the word chattel slavery is applicable to the Bible or what? For what purpose? It's because you claim it's wrong. Accept? G-Man says it's not in the Bible. That's why. I'm not the only who person. Cares? Matt said it first. I, 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 I've only been in this room for about an hour. Matt said that. My point is this. Whether it's in the Bible or not, let's say it is in the Bible. Now what? Woohoo! It is in the Bible. We win? I mean, like, who cares? Well, and what just, is the purpose? Just, that was my point. Just, exactly. That was my well, point, just too. Just for correction purpose, I don't say chattel slave is not in the Bible. I'm saying chattel slavery isn't legislated by the Mosaic law. There is, I believe, some chattel slavery, such as the Egyptians when they were holding the Hebrews and not letting them right. go, or maybe when right. the uh, Hebrews were brought into slavery at right. Babylon or the Assyrians, things like that. It's just that the right. Mosaic law does not legislate. The, bo right. the bottom right. line is what is what's going on in the Bible, right or wrong? 
Isn't, they don't want to talk about discussion? that, though. Uh, they don't scenario. want to talk about that. They just want to say that chattel slavery yeah. is in the Bible. I've seen I've seen atheists, and I'm not exaggerating. Eight hours arguing the definition of atheism. So what? So what if, if the if definition is this or not? Do you believe there's no God or not? It's that simple, right? It's either the case you do believe there's no God, or you lack that belief. Like who cares? And so, so what I'm saying is that what you guys have been arguing. I'm telling you, two hours I've been sitting here listening to you guys arguing what is what is the meaning of child slavery so so let's say let's say that jason has a definition we agree with that definition according to that definition the bible has that so what what what, what do you want to say jason well, who i win you got you guys acquiesce that the bible well, has that which i define okay. um john a very good point a, john i want to make the point that matt has been the one over the last several days that has been going over this issue of the what is chattel slavery and is it in the bible and this is kind of a core fact a core aspect of a debate about getting to this debate of does the bible endorse or condone slavery and yeah. then getting to this eventual point of what does that mean like does that mean that is is uh, slavery seen as moral in the eyes of Christianity, like getting to that debate requires having a, an understanding of what chattel slavery is. And if Matt is going to equivocate on all these terms, then it does require getting down to the nitty gritty of what does okay. the term chattel this slavery sounds mean. Like negation of but Jason, Matt is allowed to define his terms. Let's say this, okay? Matt has looked at the word chattel slavery. He defines it. I believe he referred to Aristotle. And he says, this is how I'm going to define chattel slavery. And not only so, that this type of slavery is non-existent in the Bible, right? So the question is not really the word. The question is, is what Aristotle is describing in the Bible or not? Do you agree with Matt that what he's describing is not in the Bible? And if you do agree that it's not in the Bible, now what? Yeah, but look, this is how these debates go like off off the rails because people have these differing understandings of what the word is means or like what does justify mean? And then the debate is just like this constant debate about like, well, I think this is what chattel slavery is and I think this is what chattel That's slavery what is. Saying. Yeah, I don't want to get to that. You guys are arguing but, semantics for no, no reason, but, irrespective but of what a word means, what's you know, going on in the Bible. And if this is going on the Bible, or not Listen, going on the Bible, what are, what are the entailments of that? You know, as well as I do, that these kinds of debates require very specific understandings of what the statement is and what these terms are. Because if they, if we're not specific about it, then it's just like a bunch of uh, gum flapping on what the term chattel slavery is. But he so did define his term, Jason. Well, but he wasn't willing to agree. You can, well, you... he, he, mm. did, he agreed. But... Look, He's defined it. He give you know what Matt said his definition was? What Aristotle says. And what does Aristotle say? Pages and pages and pages of like very nebulous, complex terms of what chattel slavery is. I gave a one sentence term of chattel slavery, so, and I just wanted Matt to agree to it. So so John, so John, this is where we come to the crux here, right? Let's say, and, and, and again, I'm not agreeing with Jason, right? Let's say chattel slavery exists in the Bible that God condones. And I think that's important to put there, that God actually condones. If he's talking about Egypt, then obviously he's not talking about that, right? What's the point? If we say that it exists in the Bible, next, there is no next. His point is he doesn't have a point. He just, want us, you, he just wants us to say that, that chattel slavery exists in the Bible. Okay, if we're talking about Egypt, then you're right. God condones chattel slavery? No, he does not. Yeah, what is the point? Look, okay, I, let me explain this. That if I would love for, uh, if you had a debate and we said, look, I agree that chattel slavery is the uh, system where people uh, are considered, like slaves are considered property and they can be bought, sold, and owned forever. Like, and I agree that that is endorsed and allowed in the Bible. And now I just want to talk about, is that, the, is that correct? Should, should, should slavery be allowed? Like, is it the right, is that um, a moral thing in the Bible? How does that re uh, relate to what's Christianity's wrong, wrong view? Of, it, uh, I'm fine with that. that, that that's great. Well, what's wrong I, with it? 
Nothing's wrong with that. I would love to do that, but nobody's willing to do that. That's not true. I've been asking you all day, but is slavery in the Bible immoral? And you said you didn't want to talk about it, but now you want to get into it. No, listen. Now you say nothing's wrong with it, quote unquote. No, listen. Listen, the reason that we I can walk these our things, own ways, nothing you walk away, nothing's listen, wrong with it. The reason people like atheists bring up the topic of slavery is because it appears to be uh, something in the Bible that seems antithetical to these uh, objective, objectively moral, morally correct viewpoints Not that Christians me. espouse. Okay, well, John, if you want to like start making claims that nothing's wrong with slavery and like you, I've heard you say shit like, you know, rape, there's nothing wrong with raping babies. If God told you to rape babies, it would be good. It just makes your Christian position look absurd. So if that's what okay, you want so to do. Okay, so let's talk about it. Why fine. is slavery in the Bible wrong? Look, I'm not going to have that debate right now. I've been wanting to have this debate with Matt. Oh, okay. So, so Matt, Matt, Jason clearly doesn't want to tell us why slavery in the Bible is wrong. He just wants Look, to admit that slavery I is in the Bible. So, can we talk to somebody in here who actually wants to talk about that? Because Jason ain't going nowhere Matt, with this conversation. I nowhere. I told Matt I'm willing to have a debate with him. If Matt's willing to say, I agree with your terms of chattel slavery, I agree that chattel slavery is endorsed and allowed in the Bible. Now, let's talk about what that means. I'm, that's it's not awesome. endorsed and allowed in the Bible, sir. He's not going to say that to you. Okay, well, so then he, then he's not willing to agree that Charles No, Jason, you're trying to create a straw man. You're trying what? to create a straw man and trying to say that this man believes he, that about your version of slavery is in scripture. What I would recommend you do is go read Exodus, Leviticus, and the entire Mosaic law and go find out what's in there and what's not in there before you challenge one of us to a debate well, on something I'm that you clearly sure. don't know nothing I, about. I didn't realize your name was Matt. Your hey, Matt, Matt, do you accept this de cha debate challenge, uh, Matt? Yeah, he's already accepted it. Yeah, okay, great. So can we move on to somebody else and find out why yes. slavery is immoral in the Bible, please? Because Jason's wasting our time. Oh, yeah, I'm wasting your time. After, after yes, you are. You don't got to argue. After, 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 after I triggered the fuck out of you and demolished you. You ain't triggering me, dude. You ain't triggered me. You're showing how ignorant and uh, how uneducated you, got, you, you are. You're up. extremely you uneducated, up. sir. You're all triggered now. No, 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 no. You're uneducated, dude. Chattel slavery. So, so again, okay, give me an example of chattel slavery in the Bible. Give me an example. Well, chattel slavery is the owning of proper of uh, slavery was when people are owned as property and are can be traded. Show um, me an example of chattel, chattel slavery in the Bible. Do you understand what I'm saying? Leviticus uh, 25, 44 to 46. Aren't there Thank places? you, Carolata. Thank you, Carolata. Now, can somebody read that and show me how that's considered chattel slavery that God well, condones, please? As for your does... male and female slaves, whom you may have, you may buy a male or and female slave from among the nations that are around you. You may also buy from among the strangers who sojourn with you and their clans that are with you. You have been born in your land and they may be your property. You may bequeath them to your sons after you to inherit as possessions forever. Okay, I appreciate that. Now, why is that immoral? We're getting somewhere now. Oh, why is it immoral? Wait a minute, is that wait a minute Jason. Slavery? Wait a minute, Jason. You didn't know how to read before, so is don't start talking slavery? to me now. I want to talk slavery? to this other person here. Uh, uh, wait a minute, call, is that call letter. Please explain to me why that's... Uh, shut up, Jason. Uh, call letter. Yeah, please show me why that's immoral, call letter. Uh, you don't know how to debate, jump. Jason. Uh, call uh, call okay, letter. Why is that immoral? debate me. Call letter. Why is it James, don't take the bait. Don't let him off the hook. Call letter. Corletta, Corletta, Corletta. Why is it um immoral? Hang on. Don't did, take the bait. Hang on. Did I answer the question that you were asking about whether or not it's in the Bible? No, you or did not? not. No, you did not. I don't so, agree with you, obviously. So give me an example of why that's immoral. So hang on. No, no, you're that's the topic, G. He's answered your question now. Now you need to respond. Yeah, we're not talking about morality yet, right? So we haven't you even asked you hang on. You asked yeah. to demonstrate is it in the Bible? And according to the conversation, that's not chattel been, slavery. According to the conversation I've been listening to, you've agreed to the definition of chattel slavery as owning a human being as property. And this clearly states these human beings are owned as property. Do you disagree? again? I don't believe that that's chattel slavery, my friend. You do understand that there are four or five, maybe even eight different definitions for slavery, right? There's indentured servitude, a form of slavery. All right. There are high price slavery. slaves, there are low price slaves, there are people who don't get paid at all. Okay, and then there's chattel slavery. I would 
like for you, sir, to prove to me that what you just got finished reading in scripture was immoral? The very topic that you have been avoiding, all of these atheists in here have been avoiding since I got in this room. Don't change the topic. It's chattel slavery. Prove it Corletta, to Corletta, why is it immoral? It's not chattel Corletta, slavery. It's Corletta, why, why, why is it immoral, slavery, Corletta? You're made up, you're made up Corletta, definition. why is it immoral? You Mark can so help you. Jason can help morality. you. The whole room can help you. You're not going to be able to show me why it's immoral. Yeah, why is it immoral? Let him off the hook. Topic. Let him off We're not changing the hook. topic. It's not slaves because it wasn't on Wednesday. Why is it immoral? Slavery yeah. is in the you're Bible, you're not wrong. chattel you're slavery. Yeah, Do you, you understand the words coming out of my mouth? Yeah, you want to go to immorality because you're losing. Wait, that's wait, the wait thing. A minute, wait a minute. You Irrespective. guys mentioned an equivocation fallacy, and that's what you guys are yeah, doing earlier. That's what you're doing right, right now. Terms, irrespective of what it's what you guys want to call that. Irrespective, is that wrong or right? What James just read. That's the real question. That's right. Let's hear it. Yeah, well, that's he what I want to know too. He won't agree. He won't agree that what James just Forget read is actually a, a description of chattel slavery. He won't Forget agree to the this, 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 this guy's wasting my time. <laughs> James read the Bible, right? This is what went on in the late Bronze Age, right? In the ancient Near East. The question is, is that what James just read immoral? Forget the label. That's my point. Yeah, why well, what I'm label? actually curious about is whether Gary, I mean, G-Man thinks that slavery is immoral, period. You hear that? Regardless we asked them a direct question, and now they want to see about whether or not I'm immoral or not. I mean, whether or not I think that slavery is immoral. Jason doesn't Who's know what they? he's talking about. The other atheists don't know what they're talking about. You know full oh, well that you got finished reading there. Question. It's not immoral. And thank you what? for your silence, because I, I love what it. Thank you. Letter I'm not with them. Is it immoral? I want to know if, because I, I can't tell from this conversation whether or not G-Man thinks that slavery is immoral, Forget full stop. the word slavery, whatever James Corletta just read, we all heard what he read. Is it immoral, yes or no? I'm not really interested in what you think James read. I'm interested in whether G-Man thinks You see what I'm saying? This is the form of trolling they're doing. They're doing. They don't want to. They don't want to own their claims. They they think it's immoral, but they don't want to come in here and tell us why it's immoral because they don't want to be on the defense. That's what they're doing. They think they're no, smart, but they're not. John, they're they're smart, but they're John not. you know I'm a moral anti-realist. So you're asking a moral yeah. anti-realist if I consider slavery or what was read in the Bible okay. is immoral. So, so, sir, so, so you heard what James said. Amen. Who's they? In your view, is it wrong? Who's they? I will sure. answer your question, I'll say, sir. I'll say yes. As soon as Jason and all the other atheists in this room that, that argues that slavery is immoral, the passage that was just got finished being read, if you cannot tell me why that's immoral, the very next statement out your mouth, I'm just not going to take you seriously. I'm yeah. like, I'm also, just keeping it real. Uh, because no, all you're like, doing is, well, uh, G Man, we want to know. I asked you a question. Answer it. How about no, I'm not on their side, G Man. Not, was it wrong to you? I know that, John. I know that, John. John. I know that, John. John, yeah, my question was not, show. Jason, John. is it wrong to you? I just asked you if it was wrong. That's an objective well, question. Well, I can't. So the answer I can only is and Matt, don't but debate him, Matt. Matt, Matt, you see how he's acting right now, Matt. Do not debate him, man, think, if he John. can't answer direct questions. And make that a um make that a requirement in the debate that this man has to answer direct questions. Or he's going to waste your time during that debate. I'm not with Jason or Corietta or anybody else. I have my own questions about this. So stop yeah. lumping me in with them. I want to know. No, what I'm you talking about, about Jason. Jason. I'm talking about Jason. I, Jason I wants to debate Matt. Jason, but Matt I, should not debate Jason if Jason's not going to answer already, direct questions. He's, he's too scared. He's already, let me. Uh, that's fine, but Matt's I want to know what you think about slavery. Let me just clarify here because I have clearly laid out um, that the Christian now ha has a defeater and using Aristotle to claim that the Bible. Uh, legislates chattel slavery, and I'll just use Aristotle as my example, there's no ability for the atheist to argue against that. So there's really no debate to be had uh, on how I'm approaching it. Yeah. And I think that if Jason wants to debate me, we're going to have to do a different approach because I think he's just going to have to concede my point. No, I mean, Matt, you can proceed. So Jason says it's not wrong. It's, it's wrong to me. Now you, Matt, can say, well, it's okay to me. And so I don't have a problem with it. Jason says he does. And so so now where do we proceed from there, Jason? Well, yeah, I see, that's the problem because Jason and 
Haiti, uh, Dr. Josh, Tom, all of these people every time are always coming from, oh, we're not making any moral claims against it. And at this point, you're basically, it's almost like saying, it would be like if you're just saying the Bible endorses slavery or the Bible endorses shadow slavery, it's basically just saying, oh, the Bible allows slavery because the Bible has passages about slavery. It's all you're really saying at that point. And if that's all you're saying, you're, it's just, it almost yeah. ends up seeming to be like a tautology. It just, yeah, but, what is the, what is the purpose of it at that point? There is no purpose. purpose. But Jason, well, if you say it's, it's, it's immoral to me and Matt says it's, it's, it's not immoral to me, now what? It's like serious. Yeah. Wait a second. Now, because earlier you were saying you're not making any moral claims. Are you now saying it's immoral? Look, I'm like I said before, I'm a moral anti-realist. But for this discussion, I'm fine with that because I have moral views. Like even though I think that I have a view of moral subjectivity, there are some things that, as uh, based on the society I live in and what and my experiences, that I consider some things wrong. So, like, do I consider slavery as wrong? Yes, I consider slavery as wrong. And, and Matt so does I'm, not. So then, now what is my question? <laughs> Okay, so if we're going to get to the point where Matt says, look, in the Bible, I know I agree what chattel slavery is, that I think that it's endorsed and allowed in the Bible, and I don't see any problem with that, that it's fine, that it's in the Bible, and I think that it's wrong. Then we get to a right. point of like the absurdity of like, what does that mean uh, for the, the Christian worldview? Your view? No, for the, for the Christian worldview, for his oh, worldview. Why, 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 wait, wait, wait. You feel it's wrong. Matt doesn't feel it's wrong. Right. And now Matt's view is absurd. Uh, are well, you kidding? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. But Matt's <laughs> taking an wait a minute. Matt's taking an objectively an objective morality position. Matt's taking a position that morals are objective, meaning that like what's what God determines the right and wrongness of something, and that's the way it is. God's determined it. So that must mean that God uh, made slavery wrong. Uh, long ago, and that now you're saying that now Matt's okay with slavery. So if Matt went over so now and this like, is a debate about subjective and objective morality. No, <laughs> what it it, ju it shows uh, the this ludicrous. becomes a debate about shows, moral realism versus moral anti-realism. It shows the ludicrous nature of an objectively moral view. Well, wait this, is what, Jason, this is what this is why. Oh, well, it you're doesn't not show that at all. Hey, Jason, yeah, it I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. I knew what it. Were, yeah, what, it does. If, what if I were to simply say? Okay, slavery in the Bible is okay because there's an objective moral standard that says it's wrong to uh, practice injustice. And all of these people that are involved in slavery in the Bible were just simply being unjust to other people, and therefore they ended Matt, up in this position. Matt, all you have to do is say Matt, all you have to do is say according to my Matt, fifi, John, that it's that it's not yeah. wrong. John, that's, that's, that's all you have John, to say. No problem, John. Like that means that when we get into a debate, I'm going to start saying things like, "So if you agree with all this, then I guess it's okay that if you like go over to your neighbor and capture him and stick him in your basement, that that's totally good. That's an alignment with Christian worldviews." Or that's like, an argument from emotion. Say, you, you let's just say go capture that, some mate. kids could, and put them in your basement Jason, and keep them. That's a logical fallacy. That's an argument from emotion. Jason, but no, no, then he's not going to agree with that. Jason, you could say that. Jason, you just said agreed with me, but then you said you could argue that. No, you couldn't if you just agreed with Why? me. Because no, what I specifically that's said your was, world view. Hold on, Jason, because your what, I is like, it's okay. is, what I specifically said was the slavery is okay in the Bible because all of these people who are slaves are slaves because they were practicing injustice to someone else. And then you just said, oh, yeah, and I can just say, well, you think it's okay to go capture someone and hold them in your basement. No, because well, I said the underlying mo objective moral wait a minute. Uh, law is that uh, being unjust to someone is wrong, and that's why these people are in slavery. So if you're agreeing with me on what I first said, well, you cannot actually claim that I can just say the other. That's the point. Yeah, see, well, see, this is the whole point is that, like, when we start talking about 
the definition of chattel slavery. We say, this is exactly what it is. We say, it's allowed and endorsed in the Bible. And then with that, now you're just essentially trying to wiggle out of it by saying, oh, but there are these unique situations that d define that, like, if I were to go take somebody next door and stick them in my basement, that's not what the Bible is actually saying. You're just, Correct, you're, it, makes, it makes your, oh, look, isn't... it makes your position look really weak with, with regards to Christian normative views. Justice to someone else uh, without, you know, being unjust to someone else is wrong, and therefore taking, putting them in a basement would be wrong. Yeah. So, so the person who so, puts the other person in the basement could end up a slave because of their injustice, and therefore that slavery that they're in is okay to me. That's what I'm saying. Hey, hey Matt, can I ask you a question real quick, Matt? Uh, tell me something. Are you under the old covenant? No. Okay. Uh, uh, did God give you the 613 laws for you to keep today? No. Did the 613 laws uh, require for Christians to follow today? No. Okay. So then how uh, are we um, supposed to practice these these uh, slave laws that are mentioned in the Old Testament that was meant for national Israel? Oh, that's, a, that's a great question. And that's another thing that, I, you know, atheists don't ever talk about. But then if that, but then if you start saying they'll actually, if you notice, they'll start actually saying that when you start saying, "Oh, well, Exodus twenty one sixteen says if you kidnap someone and keep them or uh, sell them, you shall be put to death." Then they'll say, "Oh, that's only meant for the Hebrews, so uh, that's only meant for them to follow." So th it's like uh, this: there, it's always this inconsistent goalpost shifting. On the topic of slavery, when it comes to atheism, Look, and this is what we're seeing here. You're this shifting fast, the goalpost. This fast right, right. So the reason why I ask you this, Matt, of chattel slavery. So, yeah, Matt. The reason why I ask you this, Matt, is because when people try to put the the Old Testament or the uh, the Mosaic Law on Christians, you can tell that they don't know the difference between when God was talking to the nation of Israel. Uh, you know, as far as the covenant that he was making with them and, and creating the law versus how we live by grace through Jesus Christ. And that, that's why they keep saying we Christians, we Christians, we Christians. I'm not an Old Testament Jew that believes in the law. So when he puts that on you, he's creating a straw man. And we got to be really careful when we have conversations with them to not let them create them and run with them. Well, I'm still yeah, yeah, usually, usually, usually most atheists will not. They'll not do that. I will say that I have to give them credit there. That they will not actually uh, say that you know do that kind of stuff but what they'll say is that the mosaic law or something is endorsing chattel slavery or the old the bible is endorsing slavery or something like that so they usually don't take the approach or at least i haven't found them to take that approach i'm sure some probably would but right. what right. what is what's really been what's really been